Oh, that's good. Typical. That's very good. I'm I'm so happy that you can uh you could use this as your little rest resting post campfire thing. Was it a campfire in that game? Was it? I don't remember. I think it was. I never played it. If you were just joining us, hi, hello. My name is Miss Queeb. I just woke up, so I sound pretty crappy. Uh, today is day 11 of Queeb, Queebmas, Queeb, Queebin calendar. I, d I still don't know how to say that. Um, I know the game that we're playing today. Queeb doesn't, and you don't. And I'm going to give you some hints. I have to be very careful, though, because this is another one where if I, if I say the wrong thing, you will guess this immediately. Do you win anything if you guess it correctly? No, but I'm trying to figure out what you could win if you did. Thank you. Thank you, Typical. That's what I was thinking of. I never played that game myself, although I watched like the Happy Hob play it for like ever, like back when he was the Happy Hobbit. So I should know it, but I don't. Let me bust out. My clues, I'm going to mute the mic super quick because I'm going to take a bite out of this cold breadstick from Little Caesars because I feel like I need to. Be right back. Hold on. Let me find the hints for you. Okay, that had no business being that greasy. Ugh. All right. So for today's game, I have to I have to measure my words very carefully. <clears throat> it received overwhelmingly positive reviews. It is a few years old. Some of the tags, where the hell's my mouse? include memo to me i need to find a mouse pad because this has been uh messing up i've been trying to do the t-shirt with uh with the sci-fly and i need to edit it a specific way the the file and this mouse you can't trace anything on it okay the tags for this are i'm not going to go through the whole list because there is a lot i'm going to pick out the ones that i think are important to uh guess it is an action roguelike, a rogue light, base, arcade, shooter, arena shooter, retro. Uh, and I guess I don't think casual is a good term. What what are the main tags? Let me see. Yeah, th that's it. Like, like the rest of them are superfluous. It's like, like bullet hell and early access and shooter, replay value. Like, nobody cares about that, bro. All right. The thumbnail is, I think it's somewhat dreamy, and I do love that font. I, I am a good hoe for a for a wonderful font like that. Um, so those are the clues. Someone did guess the game yesterday. Uh, was it Trey? Trey Bus Fu? Or T Man's? One of one of them guessed the game yesterday. I was a little shocked, but then again, that was a relatively new game. So maybe that was the only game that, that had come out uh, similar to that. So yeah, so we've got, uh, you've got the clues. I will go over the clues again in a little bit before Queeb jumps on. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a little stoked. Yesterday's 
question. People seem to really enjoy it. The question was, we're going back into quarantine again. And this time it is for one year. And they're taking away all of your, your movies and your TV shows. And instead, you get to watch any three for the next year. And people came up with good, like some, Jesus Christ. Um, a lot of people said Scrubs. Uh, the Wire came up a lot for me personally. Um, what did I say? I did say Chronicles of Riddick theatrical cut, or director's cut, not the theatrical cut bullshit. Um, what was my choice for a show? Because then that created a whole new topic because th we were trying to figure out um, the the original inspiration for this question. It came out of a Facebook group that I'm in and a lot of people tried to cheat by saying, oh, the Law and Order franchise, which it's, I, I looked it up last night. It's literally over, like they give a number, hold on. It's daunting. As of December 9th, which was two days ago, 1,214 episodes of the Law and Order franchise have aired. Uh, yeah, a Queeb had said that he would do uh, Breaking Bad. Some people said the Star Trek franchise, if franchise rules were allowed. I, I don't think they should be allowed, but I do think that that is an interesting question. And then someone else in chat said, oh, well, uh, what about video games? What if you can only play one video game? What video game would it be? And Queeb, of course, shockingly kind of, said Binding of Isaac. He said that Binding of Isaac would have enough content. He, did, he didn't say his new mistress, Outer Wilds, so that was kind of... That was a little jarring. He did... <laughs> he did not say no to a crow. He did not. I mean, I wasn't expecting him to say Noita, especially because he's put so many hours into it, but I, I don't know, I guess. I don't know. If, if, I, if I'm being told to, like, right the second, right today, that I'm going to be on lockdown for another year, what, what media do I want to have keep me company? I'm not going to say the game that I've played for the last six, eight months or a year or whatever. I'm going to pick a new game that I know that I would like. For me, that would be World of Warcraft because that was a whole discussion. Um, a apparently the new Sylvanas cinematic came out and people are like rip roaring about the way that her character model looks. I would absolutely play well because in that I would assume that all of your expansion packs are allowed. Like we're not rolling it back. We're, we're not saying, wow, classic. We're saying right now, wow, Shadowlands, which includes every single previous expansion pack. Yeah. With that being said, do I, do I still play well today? I do not. Do I wish I did? Yes. But I do not. I realized that when I play, like, I'm I'm no longer in a guild. Uh, most of the content for BFA and Shadowlands, it's meant for raids. There's not a lot of content for a solo casual player except, hey, we're going to throw you into a raid. We're going to throw you into uh into like a looking for for group finder and and you have to like deal with people that you don't want to deal with that you don't know in order to do this thing 
I have heard that, Sergeant Kenai, sir. I haven't even begun to think about getting into that just because of how bad the cues have been. However, that being said, I do I do remember being in cues for a while. However, it was what thirteen years ago? Did I just date myself? Yeah, probably. Um yeah, and it was like, I don't know, it, it didn't really bother me. It, and it didn't get my my juices flowing to, to want to play it anymore, so. <clears throat> I guess the story game would be rough and repeat. It's my first time playing. I really like story, so I thought it's supposed to be the one that was going on. No, I, under I understand both of those points, actually. But I wonder if it if it changes if you have to narrow down like the expansion or the the DLC for the game that you're playing. Like granted, I mean like right now with uh, Shadowlands with WoW for instance, there's so much content. However, most people are just focusing on Shadowlands content they're not really going back and playing the other expansion. So if it were limited, what would you do? Using that same logic, it, it wouldn't be the same as like if I said, oh, I'm going to play Shadowlands because that'll do me for the next year because I can go back through. Um, I could use the whole chromey thing. I think that that's what they're calling it now in the Caverns of Time and, and go back and relive it. However, like either that or just go in the zone, but they've nerfed all the zones where, you know, previously you could be in a zone and you're max level and you would be in a zone that you were in when you were level 20 and you could just decimate everything just just by having an AOE on. Um, it's a much different experience if you're going back through those expansion packs and everything has now been brought up to your level, if not a few like a like a dozen or so down from where you currently are. That doesn't seem very fun for me. From what I understand, it really built upon each other instead of being self-contained. Which... Definitely. Teal, hello. Thank you for the nasty ass duck. I appreciate it. Super cool. I appreciate it. <laughs> if everyone's just joining us, hi, hello. My name is Ms. Queeb. I sound stuffy because I just woke up. Uh, it is day 11. Day 11 of the Queep Miss Queep Vent Calendar thing. Uh, we're playing a game today. Queep does not know that game. However, he is familiar with it. That's a hint. He is familiar with the game today. He has not. He doesn't know what it is, but he is familiar with it. Um, I gave some hints. Nothing, nothing like dramatically spectacular jumped out. Like the last two nights, there were games uh, in a genre I've never heard of called uh, Metroidvania. We're not dealing with that. Uh, yeah, so we're playing those. We're just, you guys are, are keeping me company while I keep the seat warm, metaphorically speaking, of course, because I'm still like five feet away from the screen that you are looking at right now. Someone asked earlier if Ripley was in her. Oh, God damn it. Her trunk. Let me see. Oh, she's there. Can you see it? I don't even know if you guys can. That's a snake butt right there. That's a snake butt. Uh, she is in love with the tree trunk. I should have bought another one for her brother. And I did not. Which actually means let me log on to PetSmart and see if they actually have uh, my previous order so I can see if they still have it so I can 
order him one because he's coming tomorrow and I'm not ready at all. He won't be launching himself in the air while flipping the double metal fingers tonight. <laughs> Look, to be fair. Oh, oh, it's still there. It's still there. Okay, let me see. To be fair. I did pick it. I did. It was me. Tell Cersei it was me. It was me. Um, but he, 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 he cleared it like. I don't know. I did my best, man. I did my best. I did my best. Okay, they have sold out. Motherfuck. Okay. Well, fuck a nasty duck. I don't know what to do. Ah, <gasps> I remember that game. Right? Did I imagine it? Yeah, I rem I remember it. Okay. I'm not I'm not totally going crazy. I mean, I am, but <gasps> They they have the small one. Okay. 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 I got to jump on that. All right. A little tree trunk for Lado that matches Rippy's. Be he's because uh, the breeder said he's she he is not as big as her. He said he's. You take all of them from me. No, no. He he said. Well, no, no, no. He doesn't have difficulty. There is something. He... He needs an emotional support human. Will you be his emotional support human? I think you are. Um, he said that he's, he's small for a size because he didn't eat for the first month or so of his life. Um, he is a runt. He still looks like a baby, but he looks like a chubby baby right now because he is starting to put on weight and he's eating two rat pups every week. Um, but he's extremely handleable because he was hand fed. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, he's he's good. Hi, welcome to me every night. Did you see the video I made? Don't go to my TikTok. I used the trending sound. Quid is very excited for the new baby. The new baby who does not have a name yet. Cryptid Ho. I changed my TikTok name. It used to be Cool Snake Bomb, but I changed it to Cryptid Ho. Because I'm weird like that. Oh, I like the sh the stroke one is a little weird. Hold on, let me let me pull that up in a, a different tab and not fine. You guys know how I am about the emotes. I get very excited about strange emotes. Weird face emote. Really. Oh no, I would... No, 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 that song kills me even more. I, I think what did it was not just this... It wasn't just the song, but it was the very first video I saw to have to do with it. Um, someone showed a broken uh, pool in their backyard that was like busted and overgrown and just dirty and dusty. 
and when Go Little Rockstar came on, it was a girl, like a little like nine year old girl playing in the pool by herself because she died during the flooding a month ago. I'm gonna go cry it out in the shower. I'm, I I know those feels. I do that daily, honey. I do a date. Oh, that's I like that one too. Hold on, I will play you what song we we're talking about. Like on TikTok, they do little you know snippets of songs. Please hold. I have any headphones on? I don't. Okay. It's like, it's such a rando bit of music and it's so wonderful. And I did a video about Teddy and one about Emma. I, I always mention Teddy. Well, we always mention Teddy and we never mention Emma, but I think it's because it's so hard to talk about Emma. Oh my God. It's so, it's so hard to talk about Emma. It's so hard. <laughs> poor, 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 poor Emma. That was my kid for like ever. That was my kid. If you're just joining us, we're getting sad today on the 11th day of the Queen calendar. Here, here, here's why I, I stumble over this word. Because I came up with it, but I did not call it this. I called it the McQueen calendar, like like McQueen, McQueen like it, it flows better and Queen it's difficult because now in my head, because I make Huxley say rat vent, now it's a rat vent calendar. Um, by the way, he's still hungry and he still wants to eat. And I won't let him. <laughs> because he has rejected three rats this week. Um, so yes, today is day 11 of the Queeb calendar. Queeb is in the shower. Boy, he literally just got in the shower. So you guys are keeping me company while we wait for him to look pretty. Um, we have a game. Queeb knows of the game. He does not know the game, if that makes any sense. Um, let me give you some hints. I've already given some. Uh, earlier, but we've got a good crowd now. Hi, hello. So here are the hints I can give you. Okay. Uh, the reviews are overwhelmingly positive on Steam. Like it's that category, overwhelmingly positive. I cannot tell you the developer and I cannot tell you the publisher because you will know what the game is. I cannot mention any previous games because you will know what the game is. The popular tags, uh, it's just like, it, it's a bunch of randomness, but the ones that I think you need to know in order to know what game this is are action roguelike, space, roguelite, which I always get the two of them confused, arcade, shooter, arena shooter, 2D, retro, I mean, I guess we could also throw an action RPG in there, I guess. Um, you know me, I only picked games that I, I thought the thumbnails were interesting or beautiful. This is a beautiful thumbnail. This is a very dreamy thumbnail. I love that font. I think I have that font. It is not Earthworm Jim, but I'm 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 instantly regretting not putting Earthworm Jim on the list. God damn it. Oh my god, what if I had put something just... Can I put something retro on the list? It means he would have to have it. He would have to have it. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna figure out a retro pull. We're gonna figure out a retro game for him to play. I think he would love it. A part of me wants to get him to play Goldeneye. I don't remember if, if he likes playing Goldeneye. I have fond memories of Goldeneye because it has been, 
I don't think it still is. I, I've lost a lot of dexterity, but it was the only first person shooter I've ever played. And I played it using two controllers. I was a baller. I am no longer a baller. I'm kind of shitty. GoldenEye is magnificent. Someone on TikTok recreated the uh, the theme song, the um, um, pause music. Oh my god, it's a dream. There's so many nights I went to sleep and that song, that pause music was in my head and it was just perfect. So good. Retro game on an account. Okay. So I think we would need, as a collective, we would need to decide what the game is because I would feel weird picking a rando game. So I think if the 45 of us in chat, if we could come up with, if we could come up with a retro game for him, like, and we're talking like retro, retro, something that is available on Steam that we can, uh, that I'm able to buy and, and keep on his account, then we can do that. I would be cool with that. Uh, roguelike light get changed around a lot. I just can't turn it light if it has meta progression, if you unlock stuff or get upgraded, or those carry over to other runs. Okay, that makes sense. I have honestly have never, I had thought that I knew what a roguelike was because I had heard Queeb mention it whenever he was talking about, uh, uh, the game that we don't speak of, Noita. He would use that word to explain it. And then I found out that there's also a rogue light. And I'm like, hold on, have I been saying it wrong? Let's He's like, no, 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 there's two. Uh, someone was doing a remaster of it on its own. It got shit. Oh, that's awful. It is. It's such a, it's such a wonderful game. That, that was actually the very first james bond movie and the first non kids movie i saw in the theater i saw it opening week and i loved it it was amazing and i like for the longest time pierce brosnan was my bond like like my bond you know fuck all the other comparisons he's my bond and now um I'll, I I do like me some Daniel Craig, but I I do have to say like I am still a Brosnan girl. Monkey, hello! Thank you so much for hanging out. I love you. Raven, hi! It is not. It is not. But wouldn't that be cool if we could like get together some kind of like pug where a bunch of us just like get on and play Monopoly. That would be fun. I, I'm assuming, like in theory, I've never actually played a game, the game version of Monopoly. I've only played like the actual like board game. And I've seen like the app version of it. So I don't know what the actual computer game would be like. Remember when Golden, I came out on the console and could never play it, something to do with graphics. So oh no, that's awful, Pantheranos. I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, the port of Earth from Jones. Oh, that's awful. One ruble. Okay, that's good to know. I wish we could make that happen, though. DT, hi. Um, it wasn't. It, it wasn't a, a terribly long conversation. It was a momentary conversation. By that, um, Crow just mentioned um what he believes a rogue light to be, and I had talked about how uh when Kui played the game that we no longer speak of, Noita, he would call it a roguelike. And then he switched over to a different game, or he was talking about a different game, and he used roguelite. And I'm like, have I been saying it wrong the whole time, or is it two different things? And he went over it at the time. I don't play video games. Like, the last video game I played was, I would say for longer than five minutes, rather, it was probably a year and a half ago. So it just kind of explanation went over my head. Raven, I do, I, I, I do. Thank you. I do. And I think, I think I would have, like, like, have you seen him now? 
Have have you seen Pierce Brosnan now? He looks like a super villain. Bring him back. Bring him back. Make him a villain. And, and not not just like make him a rando villain in the Bond series. I think actually make him a villain in the Bond series. And he used to be James Bond. And then like explain to us how it works. Because like I'm thinking, obviously, that all of these missions exist in the same world. Excuse me, that was a terrible gun. That all of the missions exist in the same world. That 007 is just a call sign. And it's just like, you know, like, 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 like it's like a football number, right? And, you know, yeah, you may get that number and then that person may like, you know, leave and go off and do something else. And someone comes on and they get that number. That's how I view 007. So to me, it's all in the same world. So what if Pierce Brosnan? became a villain i'm just saying i'm just saying how wonderful would that be because he he looks like a villain what was what's the oh fuck um it's the new one with as my mother calls him the rock wayne johnson black adam he's in black adam he does one of the um one of the trailers and he he looks like an evil supervillain, and I'm so excited. I don't know if I can show that. That might be actually be a spoiler. It's about to. <laughs> I love it so much. All of the mashups that people are doing of that song. I love it. I don't know if I can if I can link to that because that looks like it might be an extreme. Spoiler, I have not seen Black Adam. I don't even know if it's out, but I will link to this photo because this is what he looked like in the trailer. Yes, I'm posting the link, so the link is safe. He just, he he looks like an evil version. He looks like an evil villain. He looks like it. My family always used our own house rules on certain things, so the video game version of Monopoly feels awkward. See, I'm coming from a completely different perspective. We didn't play video or we didn't play any kind of board games at all. Um, because that would require that you spend money on your children. Whoa. Uh, so that didn't happen. It's a game that is a roguelike that is in space. If we knew the developer, it would. Be yes. And when I say that, when I say that I can't mention the developer or the um, the publisher, it's because they have come out with an entire list of games. However, you will recognize the name on this list for one specific reason that I have not said, which some of you can read between the lines. Risk of rain. I don't even remember anything about Risk of Rain. My mother calls him The Rock Wayne Johnson, and she's about five years late on the trend. Anytime you hear a trumpet like that, it's Queen blowing his nose. It's hilarious. Um, but, like, remember when everyone was on Dwayne's dick? Like, oh, my God, he's an actor now. He's an action actor. He's amazing. And everyone was just, like, all on his dick. And... Okay, so that point, five years later, she's like, did you know that the wrestler, you know the wrestler, Rock, his name is Rock, he's an actor now. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I heard something about that, yeah, and she's like, yeah, his, his name now is Rock Wayne Johnson. I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure it's Wayne Johnson? Are you sure? And she's like, yeah, it's Rock Wayne Johnson. I looked. <laughs> and so in front of her, I looked it up and I'm like, oh. okay, so nothing came up for Rock Wayne Johnson, but I found Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Is that who you're talking about? She's like, I don't know who that person is. I'm like, oh, are you sure? Here's a picture of him. No, no, I don't. I don't recognize him. Like, way to stick to your guns, ma. <laughs> 
you know what? Whatever keeps her off the streets and off the pipe, I'm, I'm okay with. Not a problem. Red Notice. See, the problem with you guys guessing game names is that you're all wrong, except for someone yesterday. But you're giving me things to look up. And so now I'm like, Red Notice? What was Red Notice? My son is in the other room, scratching his nails on his plastic. Even if you're right, we can't be told. <laughs> Maybe enter the... Oh, enter the gungeon! What is that? Yes, I type loud. Yes, I have mechanical keyboard. It'll be okay. Enter the gungeon is a gunfight dungeon crawler following a band of misfits seeking to shoot, loot, dodge, roll, and table flip their way to personal absolution by reaching the legendary gungeon's ultimate treasure. The gun that can kill the bat. What? What? Okay, so it is not Enter the Gungeon. However, if I had known that this game existed... It's on the list. Is it on the list? Yeah. Did I pick it? The fuck would I know? I don't rec- maybe I did. I don't recognize the thumbnail, but the thumbnail looks like, um... Like a cross between little Lego guys and little little Funko Pop guys. Panthernos, he does have it. Let me go look. I have access to the library. Do I? Yeah, I have access to the library. I never know how to look up stuff on here. Let's try inventory. What do you mean my invent- Oh, because it fucking logged me out again. God damn it. Just get me logged in. Fuck. How do I? Once you hit 1000, it actually becomes- It is entirely difficult. I get overwhelmed. Like, they're- they're- Granted, I don't play a lot of video games. I've already discussed that. Like, like, I have played games. I haven't played any in the last year and a half. My life has kind of gone in the shitter. I had a couple of animals die. I'm dealing with a puppy. There, there's a pandemic, and my depression's back. Give, give me a damn break. And so I've kind of like stepped away from video games. And there have been a few times where Queeb is like, "Oh, just, just go look. Go, go see what we have, and go, go download something. Like, go download your Stardew Valley or whatever." And so I'll, I'll just look at the list, and it's so daunting. Where do I go to actually see all of the games? Am I overthinking this? There's my profile. The games, there. okay, I, no. How do I show? This is probably extremely painful for you. It's only showing... <laughs> this is not my list. It's only showing, like, a handful of games. So I wonder if Queeb needs to, like, resync. I don't know. It was it was there a bit ago. But that is good to know. I'm ready for passwords to just be your fingerprint or something. I use a password manager and I'm already over it because there are times when it doesn't register. Or it, if it's something like Gmail or something that has multiple passwords, it'll, like, let's say that you go down the list and you pick... Um, panthernos1 at gmail.com and that's the, the email that you're trying to log into. It will sometimes grab the password for panthernos2 at gmail.com. It's like, nope, sorry, it's not the password. Do you want to try again? It's like, no, I know the password. And you have to like manually go in and you can't select that password. You have to actually go into the, the thing you have to 
copy and paste the password in order to get it to work. It, and it, it's not even something that happens all the time. It's random. So I randomly have these, these fits of rage at my phone for no reason at all. There, there truly is no reason for it. And Cleve's always like, why don't you check your email more? I'm like, because my email fucking hates me. And this is, this is a thing. At least Steam tells me if I already own them, so don't accidentally buy it twice. I'm like a few of, oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry, Teal. Stardew Valley. I've only played it whenever you're able to like hack it and do like the, it's not infinite money, but you can change the money to whatever. Cheat. Um, just because the, the financial aspect, it, it adds another layer of horrificness to it for me. Like it's, it's not fun at all um, for me to, because I'm dealing with, you're dealing with the time, like, like, a, like a calendar schedule for Stardew, depending on what, you know, season it is. Your days, you, you have to sleep. You have an energy bar you're fucking dealing with. And then on top of it, you want me to worry about money? No. No, sweetie, that's that's too much. But I am thinking about going back, and I don't know. I, I don't know why. I have no idea why. Well, I would like the answer to be something other than anxiety. Yeah. That is true. So at the moment is the thing testing my sanity with its cues and DC errors. One game that I can't play because uh, we don't have a console. Uh, I miss playing Ocarina of Time. And I don't know if I miss it because I just zend out in the fishing area. What? No, 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 you, no. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. You stupid Australian Swiss thing. I want, I want the controller. I want the controller, the little, the, the funky little controller. And you're like fishing and you cast your line and it vibrates because you have like a rumble pack on it. And that tells you when to like pull your line up and... I, I do not want an emulator. I do not want a computer game. I want I want the actual console with the actual cartridge. I wouldn't think that they would be around. Are you? Well, controller for the Switch, like a wireless one or something. But I think you can get new plastic N64 controllers. Chat will know about that. Chat will probably know. Do you hear this man? He's trying to have sex with me. This man is just trying to have sex with me. He knows exactly what to say. Exactly what to say. So yes, if you didn't hear any of that, um, I was talking about how I, I know, right? I wanted the experience of playing Ocarina of Time on the console. I don't want a computer version of it. I don't want an emulator. I, I know who. I was in his chat room yesterday. He actually said that we need to talk, so I don't know if that means he, he found a, a lady. If he's, Did he find a lady? Oh. He did not. Did he? <laughs> I'm not I'm not being overly picky about my my man friends uh partners. I've just been around for like twenty years. I wanna make sure they don't get hurt. Yo, 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 what's up, ladies and gentlemen? No, I don't have...
Switch has that on their service. It's also selling a Nintendo 64 controller. So that that is the question. N Nintendo Switch Ocarina. Oh, I hear my kid. Ocarina of Time. Release date. Why would someone say release date? It's a digital download. They put it on eShop as um I mean, why make one in I'm getting that feedback. Why make money once from a game when you can make money dozens of times? Just ask Bethesda. It's really good business practice. And it's it's consumer friendly and like consumers have unlimited money. So you don't worry about that. It's fine. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a great night. Hello, my name's McQueeb. You've reached channel McQueeb. Fuck, everyone knows who I am. Okay, I'm looking it up. Skyrim Fridge Edition. Well, they released it on Amazon Alexa, didn't they? Um, what's the, uh, what, what hints have you given thus far, Ms. Queen? Okay. Let me, let me pull it back up. So, the hints I gave were, uh, god damn it, hold on, let me go back. Okay. I said... On Steam, it received overwhelmingly positive reviews. Okay. I cannot tell you the developer or the publisher. And that is because if you see, if you go to their list of games and you look through the list, you would automatically know what game that is. You are to take that any way that you would like to. Um, I'm not admitting it. Admitting it's a game that you've already played. Let's, let's narrow it down to at least less than ten thousand developers. <laughs> um, geez, fuck. Um, the speaking speaking as a former graphic designer slash marketing person, it is a very beautiful thumbnail. It is a very beautiful cover art. It is a very beautiful game. It is a game that you have enjoyed. Yes, it's Madden 22, uh, Raven Corpse gets a year long sub. Way to go. Thank you, fantastic. Um, the user tags, it's a lot of stupid ones, but the ones that I came up with- You say that, but user tags are- Well, no, 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 it, it's colorful. Casual. 2D, keep, like keep it, going, keep going. Like like these these tags, they're 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 not keep, tags. That... Just keep going. Action roguelike. Roguelike. Which... Okay, so that's important. Yep. Yes. Uh, space, and then it also has the rogue light. That's fine. Tag. A space uh, a space rogue light. Yeah. It is. Okay, 2D. you've you've narrowed it down to like a less about a dozen, maybe okay. maybe. <laughs> It is an arcade shooter. Say no more, fam. I think I know what it is. Tone hack, thank you so much for uh for for rating slash hosting us. Thank you so much. You're just in time. Queeb just joined us. We're on day eleven of the uh Queeb Miss Queeb Vent calendar thing. Yeah. What what is the game Queeb? Why is that stuck on red? I'm going to have to fix that if that is the case. Um, Someone must love you if they're giving you candies. Yeah. That was right. Boom. Nova Drift. Yes, we've played Nova Drift before. Great game. I haven't played it in a long time, actually. Can I ask why you stopped playing it? Not enough content. Promised update that never came. It's probably still the case. What, did, what was so if that's the case for Nova Drift, I thought there was a similar argument for Neon Abyss that there just wasn't enough content. Is that right? I 
I'm eating a winter winter berry um winto green and now my mouth is on fire so that's awesome no they're the best ones they're fantastic i did get um some green apple candy canes and some red hot cinnamon tamales candy canes that Yo, i'm very excited for what's up dude north ready thank you so much for the sub my man Seven hours cooking jerky today. Good way to end it off before your girlfriend FaceTimes you to watch Riverdale. Oh, that's sweet. Yay for much, much months. Many more to come, my dude. Thank you so much for hanging out. That is amazing. That's that sounds wonderful, North Ready. What, what can 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 I ask? What kind of jerky? I'm asking as a jerky aficionado, kind of. Miss Queep kind of likes jerky. Just a kind of... <laughs> just a small amount. I, I, I am a I am a jerky girl. I'm not a chocolate girl by any means. I am a jerky girl. Crow saw we we met Kumo last <laughs> Kuno, Kuno. So we we I we played um what was the game? Pronti Fish Fish Adventure last night. It, it was alright. Um a little bit of jank, a little bit of UI shenanigans. Um again, you've got a partner with you who fucks up the whole game almost because they're so keen to hold your hand through most of it um it was all right it was all right not as good as the one we played the night before which was unsighted in terms of metroidvania um really excited for weird west yes 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 my name is on that list in fact you know what i can't remember if my name's on that list so i'm gonna open up a website there's an influencer uh on devolver's website uh, north ready that is the most attractive thing i have heard since like 10 minutes ago when queeb said that that i could get a, a nintendo 64 controller for a switch and play ocarina of time well hang on i didn't I didn't say that. If we're getting a Switch, that means I'm going to have to play Metroid Dread. I said we can buy a Nintendo 64. Um, you're going to have to get a HDMI adapter. And that's the reason I mentioned the other person's name. Because he knows all about that shit. So, this has already gone into the realm of way too much to play one single game. I am not interested... Um, so I retract my statement. North Ready, that was the most attractive thing that has been spoken to me in a very long time. Thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Teal Switch is worth it for Dread alone. I, I'm i going to disagree. I watched a full 100% playthrough of it, and I'm going to use the word basic. Yes, it's slightly more advanced than previous Metroids. It just didn't seem fun. And the boss difficulty alone is gonna like it's gonna set a lot of people um against it i think but hey i know that's an unpopular unpopular opinion so tonight's game uh i was about to say neon abyss it's nova drift that'll be taking place after a couple of isaac runs um your wife loves to switch but all she plays is animal crossing I'm sure there's many people that, that do exactly the same. What else did we need to do? Jams. We need to do a jam, but uh, North Ready just said that he makes jerky because he is an RA, and I am fascinated. Uh, tell me what device you use to make this jerky. Is it just a dehydrator? Like, Like, give me a very quick rundown of the process, because I... I hear a voice in my head and it's my ADHD talking and it's saying, I think we found a new hobby. I think we need to do this. Oh no. Well, the air fryer isn't enough. That air fryer, I I will kick you out of this house before I get rid of that air fryer. Facts. That's how I feel. <laughs> I know. So today on the way home, I stopped and I got, um, I got a, a deep dish pizza from Little Caesars just because it was, it was there. It was like a quick in and out, whatever. They don't talk to me. I like it when they don't talk to me. Um, 
so I brought it home. It they never cook it done enough. Like I I like my pizza well done. So I literally put it in my my new my baby my air fryer. He needs a name. I put it in my air fryer for literally four minutes. And it 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 oh, it has little little brown little brown bits. So it's a multi purpose, right? It's air fryer plus. It is, it is called an air fryer oven. It will air fry. It bakes, broils, roasts. It even has a rotisserie thing basket and and pegs, so I could actually rotisserie my own chicken in it. It's fascinating. I am I am in love. Um, yeah, like like it, it was super cheap. I, I it does not heat up the kitchen at all. Super easy cleanup. I and and I can put like I buy those cheapy Totino's pizzas, the little trash dollar pizzas because that's that's all I could afford growing up and it's like comfort food for me. One of those pizzas will fit exactly inside the little tray that goes in and it's like oh, girl, it's it's perfect. No, that's the hottest thing ever. <laughs> I buy pizza from the place just to let it cool down and eat it. See, now I'm gonna have to do that. That is, I, I've, I've never had that luxury. Now I have made, um, I've made pizza in it using like garlic naan, uh, with and just making that like a pizza, and that's Ooh, perfect. That sounds really good. I know, right? Um, those were the little pizzas that I that I told you I made. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, like, I I am so in love with this machine. It was a hundred bucks, and and I, I I will never go back. I love it so much. It, it's perfect. But did he did he respond? Let me go back up. Did he respond? He did not. He said that he was jealous of the air fryer, uh, or he was turned on by the air fryer rather, which I hard agree. Uh, air fryer. You can use a box fan and multiple central heating. So I've... Eustine, did I say your name right? I have heard of that. that heard of you... what? So you take... Um, basically, instead of making a, a... Instead of buying a dehydrator, you can use a box fan, like, like an actual box fan, and you turn it down so it's pointed up and then you can use uh air filters that you would use for your air conditioning and layering your food inside of those to create kind of like a chamber the fuck it, 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 alton brown said it was okay he said it was okay he's kind of a dick supposedly that's what people are saying but but his advice is sound his advice is sound Kosari Premium Dehydrator. Is that the sexiest thing? I've so had? I've I've had a dehydrator, but I haven't had one before. But a buddy of mine, when I was growing up at school, his mom had one, and he used to bring dehydrated banana to work. So it was it was like sliced long ways, right? And it'd be laid out in the machine or whatever, different racks, and um. It was chewy. It was really, really good. That's the only thing I remember having dehydrated. Um, other than, you know, the, the stuff you buy in the supermarket, which, yeah, whatever. Um, so, on a whim, I just pulled up the, the, the Amazon post for the air fryer. Instant Vortex Pro 10 Quart Air Fryer, Rotisserie and Convection Oven, Air Fry, Roast, Broil, Bake, Toast, Reheat, and Dehydrate. Are you? My best friend can make jerky. If he can make jerky, if he makes, this, this is it. This is this happy birthday to me. This is it. How, how do I do this? How, how do I do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make jerky. <laughs> I, I don't know. Did I pick it because it could dehydrate? Because that, that is a, a Ms. Queeb maneuver right there. But I don't think so. 
All right, I've started a predi prediction. Yes, thank um, you. I say, I say, don't give any more points away. There's one person with almost a million points, Miss Queeb. Which who, who is, got a million I points? I can't remember who it was, but it's nearly doubled you or double Jermaze, which is uh, unacceptable. That's one tenth of the way to seeing what's under the hat. And and they'll fucking do it too. So steady, just go easy. Go. No, I I think that they should bet it all. There it is, Th Shades. There you go. Uh, shades. Million points me on me to lose, Shades. Go ahead. Like, seriously, bet it all? And I'm not I'm not saying that so you could lose. I'm saying that because the anxiety will make you win, and then you will have two million. Um, me, I'm completely out of the running. I'm down to 287,000 because you have failed me the last couple of nights. Um... By winning? Oh, isn't that weird? Yeah. Almost as if you shouldn't bet against your husband. I don't know. Um, almost, but um... Shades, you can. You have to do it in batches. You sure? Uh, that is that is how I made my fortune and how I lost it. Because I don't... I wonder if I get special privs because I'm a moderator, because I don't... That might I'll, be I'll go through and I'll I'll bet like one 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 two 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 two, and I've never gotten a message saying that I am been I've been denied. Um, the one thing that Ms. Queep can't do as a moderator is if she puts in points into a prediction, she can't select the outcome. So that I mean that kind of makes sense, right? So you can't you can't rig the system. You can never bet against the streamer, no matter how unlikely the prediction seems. Well, we're about to find out. I don't think I'm gonna bet today. I don't think I am. And it, it it's because... I, I don't gamble. I don't gamble. We are not a gambling family. I don't gamble. Um, so, the reason I haven't bet all of my points is because I do not gamble. Like, this this has now reached the point where it is not fun for me because I I have been losing, and with the exception of the win, that big win the other day, I have lost. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter what... Um, okay, Queeb, you're making dreams come true over here, I'm just saying. Um, it has nothing to do with Whoa. Okay. Like either yes or no, like, like whether I'm voting for you or against you, but it's now at the point where regardless of what the outcome is, I, I have lost. And so now I'm like, if I lose, if I lose more points, I have lost more points and I can't get more points back. I've heard of stories and I, I, I've. Uh, seen a similar situation uh, in Lethal Frag's chat, chat, but if people go all in, like myself, and tend to lose multiple times in a row, and, and you're down to the felt, um, people have earned their earned their winnings back, and then some. So it is possible to come back. Um, it's just it's just that one more try mentality, right? What could go wrong? Well, what could go wrong is that I have zero points. It took me two years to get the points that I have squandered. There's not like a point store. This isn't WoW where I can go to like some like black market website and I can like buy a million gold and have someone meet me in the middle of the fucking desert and do a trade for like a penny. Like that's not this. Memories. <laughs> <laughs> like this, this, there is no way for me to get my, my, my points back. Which means I, I need to stay put. Like I need I need to stay until I figure out what's going on. I don't even know how fast points generate. I mean, I just clicked on the little thing. It's like, oh, you earned a hundred quibbles. Yeah, bitch. I used to have like five hundred and seventeen thousand of them. Like granted. If you click the little box, you can do that people are saying there's a script or something built into better twitch tv like which is an add-on for chrome that auto collects those i would advise against that just because um 
That sounds very suspiciously like it's against Twitch TOS. I was about to say that sounds very un TOS y. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's currently 464,500 points in the pool. That that's that's cool to know. Let me see. Majority is yes. Ironically, they have nothing in the TOS about it. Um, yeah, you, you know, legal mum mumbo jumbo though could be in there somewhere. Do we want King Baby? Yeah, of course we do. Um, so we started with, uh, what's the name of it? Proptosis, is that it? Um, which is kind of a weird item. It used to be considered extremely good. Um, very, very risk reward now, I'd say. It's, it does mean you have to be much closer to enemies, um, but it does diminish the damage of your shots quite considerably. It also has a lot of anti-synergies going along with it. Um, so, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Raven, I think for something like that, and my opinion, I am uneducated in terms of I am not a streamer. I don't, I, I, I don't watch Devin Nash as much as I used to. What can I say? Um, I, I feel like it would quickly become a hot tub type of thing where terms of service would be edited and yeah it it might work but i think that they would be quick to uh to get rid of it that's again i'm uneducated i'm just i'm a bystander but i think that's what they would probably do and that just that, that kind of seems to be the case with anything that that might benefit users as a whole that might be questionable that's just me. Um, so we need range up. A uh, lump of coal would be lovely, although, you know, for a fact, we're not going to see that. Um, hmm. I don't really want... Either of those, it's fine. Good item. I want a bomb for that as well, because I'm not going to spend a black heart to get it. Holy water would, would be dope. Any any familiar would be dope. But our damage is is reasonable. Good good damage start. The item makes damage um, much better. What is it? Four times the damage up close, I think. Um, which is a hell of a lot, but that up-close business is something I'm a little bit worried about. I had a heart drop in here. Oh, okay. Hello, monkey. Well, there's that bomb we were asking for. I don't think anything in the shop is worth. Uh, maybe jumper cables, but... That is neither here nor there. Maybe another bomb. Could go for a secret rooms. Uh, boss challenge actually is looking good for a secret room. Yeah. Let's get that. Let's get that devil deal going. Oh. 
Oh boy. Yes, things are looking up, man. This is a this is a good run. Solid run. And again, if you vote if you voted against, I do not blame you in the slightest. Play the odds. Get that bag, as the kids would say. Um, oh my god, what? Excuse me. Ah, uh, shit. Boss challenge room or rock bottom? Well, gee, I wonder, Queeb. What do you think? about boss challenge room and rock bottom yeah that sounds good too emperor teleport mm. alright let's get by another bomb Hopefully there was one there. Fuck. Okay, maybe we're not getting it after all. Um... No, maybe not. <laughs> Fine, it was worth. Definitely voted for wealth transfer to shades. No, well, hold on a second here. That is against the QIAA's uh, guidelines. Which stands for Queeb something. I need another bomb, man. For four cents. Did look at that. Balance transfer to shades. Use whatever tactics you want. Fine. Good job, Rags. Good job. Yeah, Squeezy, we're almost at the tier cap already. That's dope. Could go for super secret, but nah. Save, save their bams. I don't think I need anything else. Alright, let's go. normally look at the Necronomicon in a positive light. I mean, it's a it's a decent item, and it's one-third uh, 
bookworm bite. It's not something I would actively go out of my way to seek. Oh my god. Shit. <sighs> um, I would love to go back there with a golden key. That would be nice. Why did I have a feeling that one's going to be a teleport? That's now, what, the fourth teleport? red chest we've seen I know there haven't been many but yeah, it's better than nothing on which controller do I bestow ye mighty hands uh, that would be the PlayStation 5 a black edition controller dual sense very good controller good weight good size yeah, they got it right. Uh, Heinerman, thank you very much. 21 months in the bank. Long-term supporter. Thank you, dude. No trinkets, no cards, no pills. Queeb, you have rock bottom. You think I don't know that? I know that. Boy, oh boy. Where was that gold chest? Oh, that was on the opposite side of somewhere I can't actually get to. Okay, fine. So we have a sh shop and an item room to go. It's great. Um, I would normally go... Yeah, let's go shop first. It's fine. I got 17 cents in the bank. That's a new that mm, that's a new room. Okay. Looks awfully fun. Uh, if you're curious, the reason I'm going to the shop first, there's an item in the shop sometimes called more options, which gives you uh, the golden question mark token. It gives you um, more options when you enter. Moving box. You take damage in the order your hearts are certain types. Or certain types of hearts first. Depends on how you take damage. If it's self damage, aka uh, blood donation machine or a demon beggar, red hearts first. There's other instances of that. Otherwise, it's uh, right to left. Moving box gets you the gold chest. Yeah, don't really care. Well, didn't mean to buy that. It was bad trip. Bad pill, my, my dude. I had to use it because I accidentally bought it. Like, it'd be like, I don't know, buying an air fryer you never used. Lock up. Good shot. Item room. Hmm. 
Nasty room. Nasty. Fuck off. I didn't even pay attention. Yeah, that's a nasty one. Nice. More damage, bigger, better number. I don't really want the angel room to pay out here since we've already been there and seen the contents. I don't need to go back. Plus, I don't have that many keys to begin with. So I'm not going to explode any, um, any of these dudes. I might come back and explode that, the penny eyed one. That was awesome. Okie dokie. Damn it, paid out. Okay. Three keys. Let's see what we can get here. Hangman flight. Okay. Damage up. Random rune. One key left. Golden chest, angel chest, or save. Save. The hanged man. Idiot. That uh that's fine. Whatever. Uh hello, Apollo Nort. How you doing? So I could have used that to, well, to get anywhere really. Hangman's kind of a dope card. Single use flight for a room. I had a really cool chat with somebody today and uh, another streamer and uh, I know I said I wanted to introduce a schedule because it's really important right um, which I hadn't considered and I've always said that um, you know I don't really have a schedule and, and all the rest I think I'm gonna implement one like, like stick to 6 p.m. kind of deal every day. If I can. If I can. I think that would be su supremely valuable. So we have a sacrifice room, we also have a bone heart on the far extremity, which means we can possibly take advantage of, uh, of that sacrifice room. A bunch of ha half hearts will get us there as well. It's the beautiful thing about bone hearts is that uh, you don't actually lose the bone heart even when something that you normally takes a full heart absorbs half a heart from it i'll show you what i mean um i'm gonna wait until until we get a few of those drops because it's kind of pointless without them schedules what even is that uh, you know that thing that, um, that place you go to 
um, has set up, usually to inconvenience you, um, where you trade your time for a dollar amount. Um, that is is a schedule, the, the time involved there. Well, that changes things. Because I want to take advantage of that. Supers, eh. Ah, uh, damn. I was hoping not to lose the hearts. It's fine. Okay, we're getting a lot of lot of cash. That is good. So I definitely don't want to lose this bone heart. I think that's imperative. Cool. Well, that had to happen sooner or later. Let's wait until we see the store. That was fast. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't get much faster. Got a shiny Marip, the duo and seal today. Spinder just won't shine. Nah, I, I hate it when, hate it when that happens. Tell me what kind of Pokemon seal is. I swear to Christ, if you say it's a seal, I'm probably just going to nod and say, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Geniuses at the Pokemon company. Genius. It's so subtle though, like you don't, you don't expect it. And that's what I love most about the naming of Pokemons. Its evolution is Jugong. I have a buddy who works at the Pokemon company, actually. <laughs> um, I think he likes his job. I haven't heard much about it. Outside of a uh, few conversations. So. Rip Barney. All right. I'll take the cash though. Take the cash. To make it original, that spelled it seal, S-E-E-L. Oh no, I, I get it. Yeah, I wasn't born yesterday. Can't pull the wool over McQueeb's eyes, that's for sure. Rude. Ruder. Rudest. Okay. Well. Let's get out of here before I kill myself then. You can't trademark seal. Just like Ikans. I mean, it's not like they, they took the name of the actual Pokemon and just flipped it, right? That would be... That would be insane. Sure am glad I got rock bottom. Woo! Good floor, not. What about kissed by... Kissed from... Kissed from... An Ezor... By Seal, yes.
good. I don't want to become tainted Lazarus. Fuck off. This game really wants you to become tainted, Lazarus? I don't think that's possible. Or is it possible now? I got four bombs. You know what? I'm beginning to believe you. Pretty shitty rooms. I was about to say, you know what I really want? <laughs> A decent item in the item room. <laughs> Keeper got Sacred Heart on first floor from Sack Room. Right on. You say lucky, but it still took... Still took effort to get there. But that was all you, baby. That was all you. God damn it. What's a guy got to do to get a Soli around here? More. McQueed, more. You got to do more. <laughs> and no. got justice all right justice yeah we ain't we ain't dealing oh, oh. the cruelty run needs soy milk No, I, I would probably... This is one instance where I wouldn't take soy milk. Just because damage is reduced so heavily over a short distance. Um, doesn't rock bottom... 
what was the what was the thing we found rock bottom and soy is wrecked now no 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 not rock bottom must have been something else yeah you're right damage wouldn't get reduced i mean well technically it would but you know what i mean libra thank you yep yeah wrecked like absolute shit combo uh technically detrimental bad combination necropolis one wow Angle deal, let's go. Oh my god. Stop. Wow. I still need that shop though, don't I? Libra's just a shit item? Mm -mm, disagree. First of all, six cents, six coins, and six bombs. That cannot be understated enough um and secondly nine times out of ten it's it's a positive but a couple of changes that have been made recently make it make it a negative broke the games with scapular and swallowed penny the other day you can in fact, if we had a, uh, well, maybe still one and a half solis gone. Um, if we had a, no, I can't do it. You need half a heart. I would need a health up. Gee, that'd be nice. What are the chances of a health up? Jesus Christ. Okay. No point in re-rolling. Gotta re-roll. Let's hope for more solis. sense I can't go co I can't go curse room just give me another solely or not don't give me don't give me anything that's cool too let's go Gunfler, what's up man how you doing Anyway, so since this is technically my only form of in income at the moment, um, I'm going to treat it like such. And, and that 6 p.m. PST schedule that I have roughly penciled in is, is going to be a thing. Do I have an Australian Shepherd or only Snake's Matey? That's twice you've called me Matey in... 15 seconds um and it's it's mate is fine and probably once once is enough no i don't have an australian shepherd we have two pit bulls and uh three snakes tomorrow we'll have four overcome mortal good to see you as well how you doing Fucking hell. Yep, cool. GG. The 
my pits want to be lap dogs sometimes? They can't. I'm not that strong. Divorce the dogs for the evening. Probably for the best. Can I even make it through this room without taking damage? Yeah, maybe. Coming back might be a problem. Oh, fuck you. I mean, I love it. Small Rock's great. Speed down is horrendous. Worst room to take a speed down in. Rock bottom. We don't lose speed. Okay. Thank you for the reminder. Good. Yeah, no sweat. Cool. Love it. Uh, this is bad, by the way. This is very bad. There is no reason I should lose this run except for health. either, does it? <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, you mother... Oh, my God. This game is really good, by the way. You should all um, get it.
money is not what I need right now. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Orbital plus Nord Leaf. Yeah, this this isn't the play you think it is. Couldn't put money on it. <sighs> I mean, what what difference is it going to make? Put two boss items on the next floor sounds good. And get another five cents. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can't kill me. One makes you larger. Ah, right. Forgot about that. Thank you, Scapula. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. That makes entry into... Curse Room viable. If I have one half a heart red and one half a heart blue and I lose the one half a heart blue, the scapula get reset. Or does it have to be a red heart hit? It does. Alright, so we can get into the uh, into the curse room. Uh, I can also go into the boss challenge room. Like right now. Oh, you bet your fucking butt I'm doing that. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I agree. Yeah, no, two wasn't enough. And it's down to one heart or half a heart? May not be worth doing. Could be worth doing. Half a heart. What does Laz start with? Two 
Give me experimental treatment. Now's the time, man. What now is the time? And does Laz spawn in the same room? Or outside of the room? Very important questions. Uh, Iniet. Hello. Same room. Okay. Okay. Um, no, not worth it. Let's keep going. Mm. I could always take the fool card with as an option. one of those pivotal moments, folks. One bomb. Uh, where was the cracked skull? Let's go find that. Uh, Dart5900, thank you very much for the 41 bits. Very appreciated. Just getting back into Isaac, having a love-hate relationship with repentance. What about it specifically? It is more difficult. That's a fact. I gotta do it here, otherwise we're gonna take too much damage. More annoying mobs. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Can't take it. Damn it. All right. Next floor, I guess, huh? So yeah, the the range down, or more to the point, the lack of damage at range is really kicking my ass here. Like bad. We do get shops in the womb. Watch this, it's gonna be an XL floor. Sounds about right.
Yep, that'll that'll do it. Just face away from him, McQueeb. It works every time. Shut up. Cool. Good game. Red chests fucking suck. There is very little reason to open them. And unless we can get more bombs, I'm not even going to bother. Man, seriously. Edmund, this ain't the way, man. This ain't the way. Skolex with friends. Oh, that's a delight. Very good items, all of them. Um, can't not. I can't not do that.
can go to the curse room though. Pound, what's up, dude? How are you, my guy? Wait, pound pound is a troublemaker. Is pound the little kid in front of the burning house? Is that him? Oh, I know Panthenos. No, pound is a pound is an awesome dude. I've always said it. Any friend of Hyper's is sometimes a friend of mine. Me, uh, let's take Curse of the Blind on the next one. This floor was far too friendly, so Curse of the Blind should set things right. Queeb knows me biblically. If I didn't know better, I'd say um, Pound has had uh, a little bit of the BT Lees tonight. If you if you get my drift. Uh, if you don't get my drift, I uh, that was a uh, a metaphor for sauce. Maybe metaphor was the wrong analogy. Hmm. I have to research that one. Into the eggnog? So here's a question, because I don't I don't drink, right? But I like the eggnog you buy from supermarkets. Which I don't think we we bought a Southern Comfort eggnog, and I don't think there's any alcohol in it. If there is, it's so minuscule that I can't even taste it. Um, but people drink it to, you know, get into the Christmas spirits. Why are the familiars not following? Oh, that's King Baby. That's what King Baby does. King Baby's the king. Everybody follows him. Except I've only got the two familiars. It really wrecks... Um, it, it, it really wrecks depression. But other familiars with King Baby is dope. Dope as shit. No, but I can wait 30 seconds to find out. What does eggnog taste like? <sighs> Creamy van vanilla milk? A uh, little, little bit of spice, you know? I mean, actual cinnamon spice. It's good. Good flavor. I think traditional recipes are made with actual egg, too.
a thick malted vanilla shake. Mm. Kind kind of like thick malted shake mixed with a chai latte, some <laughs> I guess. Not that thick? Lies. Every eggnog I've had has been thick. <laughs> Pound. <laughs> I'm I'm glad to see you uh getting into the swing of things, dude. I'll take a health up, I guess. I don't really want to go through a whole heap of hearts. Try. Thanks, got it. We're looking for a shop. And I'll come back for the Gamblatron 5000 here. Vanilla or Charter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. It's a really... It's a good flavor. I like it a lot. Um, if you're lactose intolerant, be cautious. You will spend uh, quite a few evenings somewhere you didn't plan. Just trust me on that one. These cards, man. Come on. Like, I know for a fact we can do better. Devil, devil card? No? Maybe, uh... Empress? Empress card? I mean, yeah, any of the above. Rock Bottom has literally served us no benefit at the moment. Zero. Shit. Technically custard? Mm, that I'm not sure about. I'm, I don't know what constitutes custard. Hmm. Okay. Diplopia. Different quantities determine whether you're making ice cream, eggnog, or pudding, basically. Oh, interesting. Okay. I like it. I like it. We fought mom. This is mom's heart. I can leave after mom's heart, right? Yes? I need to know the answer to that before I make a, a, a one motion towards that door. I'm almost certain I can. You need a teleport from here? Mm -mm. No, I think it's only mom's heart that locks you in. Since I have conflicting information, I will wait for confirmation. I need a go, no go. On the door in front of me. Got him. Thanks for the... Thanks for the gift sub, dude. That is three uh, Blu-ray copies of Shrek 2. 
I heard your name being called out, actually, three copies. In uh, the, the strangest chat the other night. That was really fun, by the way. I don't have a command for that uh, legit adventurer lurk, but uh, feel free to lurk nonetheless. Appreciate it. YOLO. Mm -mm, no. No, not while I'm holding Diplo and a shop with PhD in it. No way. Shouldn't lock you in. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of... Lot, very com lot, The confidence is high. Houston, we have a problem. Its name is Chat. Thank you, Pound, for the uh, almighty gifted sub to Hail and Hardy. Heart lets you out. Thank you, Abstract. That's all I need to know. Repentance dropped on Switch today about... I'm really happy about that. Duplicate the uh, room in here. Yeah. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Literally just said that. Thank you, game. Yes. Balls of steel. Uh, gift sub to K Kevy and Widvir. Oh, I know. I recognize that name. Thank you, dude. Don't talk to me with that unsubbed mouth. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's grab a. Let's grab a heart. I'll grab my. World card beyond my way. What was that? Death. Actually, let's blow that up as well. Carrick, dude. Oh my god. Pound, you're 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 being you're being too much right now. What are we up to? Two hundred and ninety-nine. At three hundred, we do a giveaway. That's that's just how the rules work. Runs looking good. Looking good now. You should have seen us three floors ago. Christmas spirits indeed. Curse of the blind. There it is. At least I got my map though. Uh, Raven corpse with a gifted sub. Well, that's 300. Let me finish this run. We'll do a giveaway. So stick around. Shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Uh, by the way, giveaway is a $25 Steam gift card. If you are in the United States, go ahead and add me on Steam. If you're outside of the United States, you can still enter. However, um, I can't send you a Steam gift card. But we'll, we'll work out something else. Most people are getting Amazon cards, so that works too. Ah, oh, that's a long trek. Mm, yep. Pound is extremely, extremely generous. 
Um, actually, I think I think Pound and I met through. It was it was through hype uh, hype right hyper. I love that guy. I can't I can't talk about him highly enough. Uh, if you like my content, please check out Hyperstifer X. Someone go ahead and link him. I don't have a shout out command, but he's he's worth it. I'm trying to get him to play Isaac. Uh, he's scared, I guess. And to be fair, you know, it's, it, the game's not for everyone, you know? Um, so, y y you know, it, it, it happens. We got more coming in. Netrunner, thank you very much for your resub. Very kind. Monkey Lawn. Nine months, by the way. I think the saying goes, uh, what should we name our Twitch baby? I think that's a bit crass. Monkey Lawn Gnome gifted sub to Apollo Nort. And to Rubble Bob. To Munda, thank you for the 100 bits. Pound to Marvelman. Pound to Mazed. Oh my goodness. Spaz with the 100. Thank you, folks. We have a train started. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Uh, I will say, if you are in the US, go ahead and preemptively add me on Steam. Because it takes 48 hours to process. Um, it sucks, but it's like an anti-fraud thing, so... I'm taking way too much damage on this floor already. Why didn't I buy the extra pill in the shop? We knew it was Balls of Steel. Oh, I used the world, world card instead. Okay, fair. Uh, I'm going to go on the record and say that I dislike, dislike proptosis. Yeah, not a good item. Is soy milk and chocolate milk good? I think you still have to charge with chocolate milk. So no, it's not. Hello Kamai, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, Netrunner with another 100 bits. Thank you, dude. Oh, fuck this room. I'm bombing out. Okay, good. In hindsight, I wouldn't have picked up rock bottom. I would have gone for the boss challenge room instead. Because we had the choice, we only had one bomb. Oh my fuck. 
I can't go back and get that red heart now. Cool. Up to the chest. Let's go. Gonna get soy milk in the chests. So in this situation, soy milk would be fine because we ha we have rock bottom. Oh, that's what you're talking about, right? Uh, yes. Thank you for giving me the win. Yes, and... Range way up, you say. Fuck it. I regret literally everything. That was fucking horrible. Shit. <laughs> Health up. Range way up. Way up. Yeah, you can tell. Oh, this is fucked. It doesn't even start behind you anymore. Did you notice that? Maybe that's just because I have proptosis? Uh, Netrunner, another 10 bits. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. I can't fucking hit you! Range way up, Queeb. Way up. Oh, you should see it. The range is so big. So, so, it's huge. Range is amazing right now. Range is in fashion and you are the, the trend setter of the year. Far out. Yeah, that was a huge mistake. My fault for thinking it was going to be cool. Um, yet another reason not to take proptosis, because it's just a trash fire. Oh, man. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Ugh. Hey, poop sack. Leave me alone. What did I do to you? Why, why are the poop sacks angry at me? If I lose because of this, I'm going to be so fucking pissed off. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm never taking proptosis again. I don't I don't even know if anything counters that. Like uh whipworm maybe? Tears up. Oh god. Hey, I'm half a heart ahead. It's something. <sighs> Lovely to see you, Sci-Fly. You caught me at an unusual time in my life. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Proptosis! Yeah, dick. Oh my Christ. Okay, well, we are guaranteed to have... We are guaranteed to have, uh... 
What a cluster. Uh, what's it called? Fire. Scap. Scap will fire. Fuck. A Fight Club reference? Mm, I wasn't thinking Fight Club. Hey, we got flight. Dope. find you. I will find you. Well, maybe not today. I went the wrong way. I went... Oh, my God. This is really bad news. Goodness, we're in a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble. <laughs> Sci fi fucking legend. <laughs> Angry Fly doing his best. I, I, I don't know what that is or means, but he's doing it. He's definitely existing on this plane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get him, Flies. That's it. Get him. I got like one, two, three... Like five hits, six, four, five now. Not good, not good. Three, four. I just realized I had Nord Leaf as well, so we would have been okay. Okay, we're good. Get in that box. You shit. Okay. I forgot altogether that I had the leaf. I would have killed myself. Uh, choose prediction outcome. Congratulations to 78% of people that thought I was going to win that one. Interesting. 78, 78, 4. That's 522k for 15 people. 12 people against 147k. I got to see these numbers. Heinerman, 117 400. He dropped that he dropped that straight to shades. He know he did. You know you did. Done it deliberate. There's a thunder reference. All right. It is giveaway time, folks. Uh wheel. If you would like to be a part of the giveaway, type something in chat. And, uh... Hey, Cinder, what's that from? Speen. Because, uh... I... Alias was the last I heard to use that. He had a... He had a thing. Milk Nog. Do you know what? In celebration, I'm going to go get a Milk Nog myself. I'll be right back. Give me a sec, folks. Um... Take all the time you need. I don't have a... It's from Vine Source? Vinny Vine Source. 
And Vine Sauce is not V Sauce, correct? Hmm. That's from Dunk. Really? It didn't sound like Dunk. Hmm. Either way, I'll be right back, folks. Thank you for waiting. All right. Should we do a, a spin? Here we go. Good luck, everybody. The winner today. Jamma Ma. Congratulations. Uh, and Wednesday, thank you very much for the 100 bits and, uh, pound again for the gift sub to Pantanos and JB for five gifted. Thank you so much. Um, go ahead and add me on Steam if you haven't already. Uh, if you have added me on Steam. Oh, I guess the question should be asked. Are you in the United States or outside?
you are. Right on. And is your username the same as your... Your Twitch username the same as your Steam? JB, another five gifted. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind. Um, at 500 subs, we are going to be doing a major giveaway. Uh, user's choice. You get your choice of a classic console. We have an NES, uh, SNES, a PlayStation, or some Twitch merch, or some McQueeb merch. Your choice there. All right, I'm going to accept all of the, all of these friend requests that have come through. Thank you for being a safe haven from frustrating family shit. <laughs> Amen, brother. Trust me. I get it. I get it. Happy to be here for you guys. Trust me, I get as much out of this as you do. It is an absolute pleasure to be here daily, and that's why I'm going to put in the effort to be here uh, on time every day. 6 p.m. Pacific. Is that all eggnog? Yeah. This is just a tiny one. We hit 320 on legs yesterday going for the 1,000 pound all around challenge. Don't know what that means? Congrats. What is up with this notification system? Lumia stream, you are... You had a great app and then you're like, no, nah, we're going to rewrite it so that it bugs everybody every single time we load the app. To subscribe to our service which you don't need oh new version i get it sure go ahead and update now we we got time um in the meantime i'm gonna be running a new prediction Put 15 minutes on this one. Why is Steam's browser so unbelievably slow? Jamama, there you are. Got it. Add that to my documents. So, uh, yeah, give me 48 hours from the time that we, that I accept, and then, uh, then I'll have to process it after that, but I'll do it as soon as I can. Steam is lightning fast compared, compared to EGS, but EGS doesn't have a built-in browser for each store page, right? And that's, that's the problem, I think. It's too rich for you to drink in those quantities. I swear I'm 50% sugar, 70% water. Um, right, let's do another run. All oh, right, no, hang on, hang on. I still didn't fix the... Reconnect Twitch, there you go. Reconnect Stream Elements, there you go. Reconnect Stream Deck. No? Could not authenticate with Stream Elements. But you did, though. 
Why do they keep changing it? It fucking worked fine before. Nope, now it's not working at all. God damn it. Setting likes to default. No, you're not. Connections. Let me guess. Nanoleaf? Nanoleaf. Alright, one sec. Streamer mode on. This this is so disappointing. Why does Twitch only authenticate its API for 30 days? Asking for a friend. It's me, I'm the friend. Is it because McQui- No, nothing to do with McQui bot in this case. Okay, forget it. No alerts. Cool, man. Well, whatever. No, I get it. I get it. Like, I'm, I'm thankful that my account is somewhat protected. My face is very red right now. It's kind of cool. Cool haircut. Cool tears. Cool damage. Bad speed. Bad health. Lover's card. Not exactly useful.
Alright, we need five cents. Thank you. I'll take that. Uh, I mean, damage is not... It's, it's slightly below normal starting for an average character, but it's not bad. We can, we can make it happen. It's very deceptive. The small tiers give the impression that the damage is lower. But nah, this is fine. Let's go find that item room. Uh, Jacob's Ladder. That'd be good. All I'm saying is it would have been nice for all of this to happen as I was setting up the stream, not not in the middle of, you know, the stream. Then. Free me from this prison. Good item. Pony. Cat template with 10 gifted. You guys are so fucking generous. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Now the lover's card becomes an interesting prospect. I can actually make use of that. <laughs> Good day to you too, Cat Template. Thank you so much. Uh, JB. I, I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit speechless right now. Thank you again. An an another 10 gifted. That's a good item. We'll take that for sure. Love me some toxic shock. Very good item. Wait, we're not that close to... Oh, Jesus, we are. Another giveaway coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Actually... Before I do that, I'm going to make a note of the people that I've already sent the gift cards to, because that's important. Bloop. 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 Alright, so I've still got T-Mans and Jamama to go. Um, obviously, if you've already won a prize, I don't think I need to say this, but we cannot give more than one. Except for the major giveaway, you can re-enter for that. Don't want you to win a third time. We have drawn Alex's name a couple of times. Very, very funny. Oh, broken spot. Stop. Stop watch. And we don't know where the secret room is either. Huh. Not there. Must be down here. Hmm. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare give me magic mushroom. Like right here. You certainly wouldn't give me magic mushroom over this side. Cross face, huh? Eh? 
0.68 speed, huh? Thinking about it. So many pills, though. That's two and two. All right, let's do the shenanigans with... Uh, what do we got? We got a half a heart here somewhere? Where are you? There. Okay. And I've still got the lover's card. That's one, two, three, four, five if I go all the way. JB again. Times two. The lovers. Mm. Hey, dirty pirate. How you doing? So this is what I was talking about before. We know that sack rooms take a full heart every time you tap them, right? Watch this. Watch this. Because we have a bone heart available. It was a really good example too. Wow. Okay, I fucked up. Wife just walked into the office, farted, cackled, and left. I think it was already said, but yep, that's a, that's a keeper right there. See what we got. Speed up. Forget about it. What's this? Tears up? Vested, alright. So we didn't heal, unfortunately, from that. We only got an extra health up. But, 0.98 speed, so we're technically faster than we were before. And we got a significant damage up. Uh, I'm happy. Time to leave. Um, JB, with an even hundred gifted subs for the channel. Thank you, dude. Yeah, time to go. One, three, and a bony. Okay. We've also got Greed's Gullet, which... Whatever, I don't think I'll be holding onto that much cash. Zeph, good to see you, dude. How you doing? Rip bony. So this guy's relatively unpredictable if he doesn't do his laser beam. Two and three... Two and three and a half. Uh, the reason everything's dying is because of toxic shock. It, um, it's like room-wide poison based on your damage. Um... Pretty effective. Love it. 
Seems weird not seeing health besides a question mark. So that's the curse. You'll notice under the map on the right hand side, the little purple heart. That just means we can't see the... Um, we can't see our health. It's one of the curses that you get. Laying down to sleep now before work. No sweat, dude. Get some rest in. Think I think about you and your work often. Boomerang. Could be quite good. Seven cent boomerang? Let's wait. I'd rather not blow some shit up. Toxic shock is amazing. Very good item. Um, it kind of loses traction as you progress through the game, but yeah, no, it is, it is very good. Oh, my least favorite trio. So they don't have an effect when they hit the wall like most others, but, um, they're still dicks. They do have less HP than normal, but there's three of them and they're really fast. Very, very nice. We got that devil room. That's all I care about. Couldn't we have found that on the last floor? Hoping to find new employment soon to get some actual days off. Well, I hope you get it, dude. I really do. I'm gonna go. You now have 633 out of 637. Tainted Eden to the Beast and Mother. And five items. Um, okay. You left Tainted Eden to last on purpose? I, I, well, I mean, you got the others done, so... Clearly that's the case, but still, I'm impressed. I will, Zef. Thank you so much. on early floors very very strong yeah yeah zero complaints here although our damage is um is pretty divine nonetheless especially out of that right eye
Ooh. Anyone remember what the light blue pill is? It's either health up or... Um... Infested. I can't remember. That one's speed? Oh, okay. I'm good on speed for now. It does scale with damage, but it still falls off towards the later stages. Before I did that. Thirty six percent at an angel room. Just give, just give me flight. Not, I'm not even asking for too much here, I don't think. Oof. down range down everything else up oh my god okay ouch i never learn with experiment like never never learn Davin? How do, you, how do you pronounce that? Davin or Devin? No map. Good, I'm really glad I got mapping. That's Sir Davin of House Lannister to you. Oh, oh, Breaking Bad reference. Okay, sorry. I should have known better. Either or, usually it's Darwin. Hmm. Fancy name. Huh. It's not a fight. Unidentified pills. Come 
kind of need it. Shit. looking solid very good yeah the the mysterious liquid combined with with toxic shock is like supremely strong very very good Bob's rotten head sucks. I'ma I'm a just say it. It sucks. We had two pills of the same type before. What is the chance it's gonna be positive pills though? Bob's Rotten Head Fan Club. Look, the Sci-Fi Appreciation Society wants nothing to do with the Bob's Rotten Head Fan Club. The BRHFC can just, you know what, keep to themselves. How does that sound? Just a little bit dark, that's all. Kind of a weird item, but I like it. Weird synergies all around. You recently discovered that you're apparently strange and that you you love chocolate milk item? Uh chocolate milk's great. Yeah, zero complaints here. I like it a lot. It doesn't always work out well. Um, but no, it's, it's dope. I'm a tap shooter though. I don't charge it ever. That just means my, my wrists get a bit of a workout, you know? You 
You got it, Zoe? Tap shooting's very, um... It's an acquired taste, I think. A lot of people don't like it. Um, technically it's doing less damage, but the knockback is what keeps you safe. Go back here and grab that other room before we go anywhere else. If you find soy, you find chocolate. It's never just one. Yeah, and I uh, ill advised to take both. Because then you have to either tap shoot a soy milk shot, which is gross because it's going to fire just as fast with severely reduced damage, or the alternative, um, you, you charge shot a soy milk, which it, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, we get a bedroom? It's been a while. Clean room. Just in case we didn't have enough poison. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's blow this up too. Was any of those identified at all? No, none. Huh. All right. Bob's brain? Yeah, that's one that can stay where it is. That's fine. Ipecac? No. Ipecac with... How does that work? Ipecac with uh, skipping stone. <laughs> that sounds really bad. It doesn't. Right. Yeah, I had a feeling. Probably. Probably blows up. Yep. Oh, I'm much surprised by seeing greed in here. That is that is a major shock to me. Well, I did say I started with greed's gullet and I wouldn't be getting any health ups, but yet here we are, huh? Love this room. It's worth the several bombs. Removes the oldest passive. Ooh. We could probably handle that, actually. Uh, 
Uh, I do need to make... Oh, I blew up my dono machine, didn't I? Of course I did. What mod do I have on the coins? Excellent question. There's my little spreadsheet. There's three. One of them is the coin sounds. One of them is a uh, coin, new coin image or something it's called. And then there's the rising pitch as well. Sheil, thank you so much. Nine months. Great to have you back, my man. Dono Chan's still there? Was that the last run that I blew up? Nah, I'm sure I blew it up on this one. Maybe? Well, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, it's a greed room. Right. Oh, my poor dog. Dying. Somebody help me. I'm trapped. Hope we hope we get the angel room. Shit, I'll trade either way. Actually, if I take if I use the flipped stars card in a devil deal, does that fuck? Does that count? Or not? I'm gonna play this out as well gonna use unfortunately it doesn't take rotten hearts first i really wish it did does it count as taking a devil deal yes correct wow Only actually the trading of the health. Right, okay. Ghost Babs for free? All right. No complaints there. Alright, so we have to clear first because we ain't coming back. Whoa! Buddy, relax. I knew that was there. Knew it. Knew it the whole time. Stay there. Oh, 
Oh, if you missed it, by the way, today's game of the day, as chosen by Ms. Queeb, is Nova Drift, a game that we have seen many times before on the channel. Very exciting. How did Disco Elysium go? Fucking good game. Really good game. Um, dark. To say the least, that game is dark. Uh, but the writing, impeccable. Like, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with the writing. The voiceover just exemplifies that. Um, the way the game plays out. Uh, is very clever. I've never seen that sort of uh, gameplay mechanic mixed with RPG elements the way that does. So that's really cool. No, it's it's good. It's very very good. Um, I don't know if I will jump back into it. Like, it's dark to the point where it's it's really heavy, really heavy game. Um, that might be one I enjoy by myself, but yeah, no, it's, it's a good, it's a good game. Well worth a look. I'm gonna do a full clear. Yeah, might as well. Um, to give you some idea, we are a detective. And I think the story starts, maybe it starts differently for everyone. I can't answer this. And in fact, I don't actually want to know. So, but from what I understand, you start as um, an alcoholic down on his luck scumbag of a police officer. At least we did, right? I think characters might be different as they start. Um, and you've got to figure out who you are, like, it's really clever the way they did it. Really, really clever. 5150, what's up, dude? Great to see you, man. Nova Drift's fantastic. Yep, still waiting for that content update from what I understand. Oh, but it has a speed run mode now, McQueep. I don't care. Need the shots from the last run to go around in circles and not hit anything? Right, right. Yes, three copies, yep, yep. Hope the day finds you well. The day is treating me great. Uh, my Nanoleaf notification system has disconnected, stopped working. Um, what else? Uh, I have a headache. Pretty bad one. But no, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Maybe I just hang on to the coins because, uh, well, we don't have a lot of chance to spend them beyond this. I don't really need Skatol. And the more coins I have, I think once we hit 75, we'll get an extra health up. The 
headache might be from dealing with you? Panthenos, please. Waking up in the morning is more painful than dealing with you. Trust me, you ain't the cause. Morning is the worst time of the day. Funny, funny you should say that because my morning is, um, well, today it was three o'clock because I had a, a call with another streamer, but, um, it takes me a while to warm up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to trade. Uh... What's the eye called? It's not glass eye. What, what's that one? Anyway, we're going to trade that for whatever. Two angel items. Yeah, they're okay. We'll, we'll take those, I guess. Uh, you can keep spirit sword, though. Goodbye. A baby roach asked his dad what happens if they get sprayed with raid. Papa Roach said, suffocation, no breathing. Um, and if you know, you know how they say first impressions matter. Given that that was your first comment in this channel. Um, now I'm not going to ban you because that's not who I am, but. We definitely have a learning opportunity here, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. Sty, Sty is the name of the item, it's fine. I think it was worth the trade, to be honest. I mean, the pun was there. Yeah. Jastly, you, you ain't got to explain it, bro. I get it. Trust me, that's the reason I, I had that diatribe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Hayden, for supporting the channel with your channel points. Gift sub incoming. Let me, one sec, I got to do this from my actual Twitch page. Casually challenged. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Enjoy your stay, my dude. Welcome. Great to have you here. I'll forgive the pun for now. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Still love the emo emote. It's your absolute favorite. Uh, emote statistics would agree with you. Um, it is by far and away my most popular. It's the one that's used the most outside of this channel. Magician, don't need, times two, lovers, we'll take that. 
Hopefully we don't need that. You have a Russian friend who's a sound engineer and a Czech one too. <laughs> Fuck, you are pushing your luck now. <laughs> oh boy. Almost one extra health. I might hold off, off on picking up those last two coins, actually. Oh, I'd feel real bad for the people that voted against me if it wasn't for the fact that they voted against me. Light, baby. At the chance of a very big payoff. It's true. There, there's a, there's like a five to one ratio on the, on the number of channel points bet, right? Um, but to, to get the bulk of that, you still need to put in a hell of a lot. And it can happen. We've, we've seen it happen time and time again where, oh, Queeb's on a one run and then all of a sudden, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Turn my back for one minute and we're down to the felt. Last run was nearly that. Yeah, twice, in fact. It started shit. Um, and then I tried to balance out. We, we almost got there. And, and then I took way too much damage. And then we were back down again. Yeah, I'm just going to keep my money. Good guessing. Haven't taken damage in three floors? What? I mean, I'm gonna lose it, but sure, whatever. I could drop it until I clear. Not a bad idea. Where's rock bottom now, you fuckers? With uh, with Sacred Heart, uh, Toxic Shock is is yeah like fucking doing gangbusters here. Crazy Red, look at the subs, dude. What can I say? People, should we nine away from another giveaway? All right, maybe slow it down just a little. Uh, magic mush? I don't know why 
I blew you up. There's zero point to do that. Uh, unsung hero, ring of flies, whatever that item's called. That is really strong. That's protected us from more tears than I'd care to mention. Who here is excited for Nova Drift, by the way? I haven't played it in so long. I'm kind of, I'm kind of jonesing for it. back and get my my trinky did we see anything flash by the way i didn't no 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 never heard of nova drift before uh how would you explain it like asteroids on drugs but it's a roguelike Heavenly Heathen, how are you doing tonight? Ow. Ow. Yeah, pain meds don't seem to be cutting through my headache, unfortunately. That's what got you to sub in the first place? Really, Sheil? That's cool. And then you went on the loop hero journey with me. So my views on YouTube in the last four or five days have gone up. And I think it's because of loop hero. It's like the only game that um, that I can think of ha that has recently come out on Switch that's, well, other than Isaac, obviously. Um, but there, there weren't a lot of Loop Hero uh, content creators back then. Fuck off. Fuck you. Get fucked. I feel somewhat passionate about that item. Ah, that one's going to cost me. Nah, Proptosis will never be picked up again. Unless I am... Absolutely... At the wit's end of, of about to die And it's not going to make a difference either way. It's... I'm going to say it. It's a bad item. It's on my... It's on my... DNT list right now. Mm. Tiny Planet made it worse. But, yeah, not great by itself. It's, it's, I think they've maybe changed the speed at which the shots dissipate. It's a possibility.
because it is fast. Well, that was convincing. Back up to five. Again. Just by itself, it's got real good damage, but the, the problem is the range. You've got... So even with a range up, you've got this much space before you hit zero damage and the shot disappears. Which is a counter synergy to so many other items. It's the second time this happened. Dear colleagues, this is blank. We connected on LinkedIn. This is just a bit of an informal email. Just a step outside of my daily routine to thank you for being you. You managed to keep your head up and survive through a glo- Shut the- Blah, 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 blah. Read. Okay. Positive, 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 positive. You don't have to be religious to get the information either. That free resource is the Bible. Yes, all information is in the Bible. I wrote out to you. I responded and I said, you know what? Um, please remove me from your list. You didn't have a button to do that. And he follows up with another one. So I'm going to report him for fishing right now. Done. The word of the good Lord has just entered my spam inbox. And then hallelujah, praise his light. Praise his light, capital praise H. Light. Um, choose prediction outcome. Ten people, I apologize. You were not successful. I don't think it's a spam bot. I think it's legit a person that I connected with on LinkedIn. And that was what they sent me. All right, let's switch over. That should not be bright red right now. Well, it looks orange on the screen, but it's red. Um, I can't get my system to work, so I'm going to have to reset everything. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have even brought that up. Some people are in here might be religious, and I, and I apologize for, for my words. That there's no judgment against you. You're good. Um, it's just... It's just a weird email, that's all. Especially if we connected on LinkedIn, dude. Anyway. So, what am I doing? Oh yeah. Nova, Nova Drizzle. I got two people to send Steam gift cards to. Let's get rid of that app. Never drift. No, look, I don't. If you have a higher being that you believe in, that you prescribe to, I'm, I'm not going to try to stop you. Um, it was rude of me to even bring it up in the way that I did. It's just frustrating. Nova Drizzle, huh? We haven't played this in forever. I'm excited. 
Good choice, Miss Queep. Oh, look at you. So Miss Queep made this little temporary transport container. Oh, the plastic is. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not done with it. Like I need to pull it off the, the, the substrate. Like here, see? Uh, it's like a. It's like a little. I don't know. A shoebox? It is a plastic. Plastic shoebox, reusable shoebox. Um, but it's the perfect size for a little baby. Right. Yeah. Snakes are smart enough to push against the lid. So it's got little little handles on it, and then, and then, I got it. It goes in a little little cat carrier. Look at this. It's got a little window, two two windows, three windows. Mm -hmm. Um, this helps keep it dark inside. And it like I bought them separately, but this. It, it fits perfectly it inside, like it was made for it. Yeah. Um, He'd watch out and the watch. windows. Yeah. And then whenever I was in the vet office, I would have to look the, the solid side against me because the vet was out. I literally, everyone behind the counter would be like, let me see him. And I would just like hand it to him. And he's like plastered up against the plastic. Like, what's going on? That's going to be the new guy. I hope he is like Teddy. I, I think he might I be. I hope he is. He might have a little snack. But you know what? true teddy uh teddy was our snake he died in march last year this year and um he was the best snake and i was fucking crushed so was miss queen actually you know how i used to joke i was thinking about this earlier i didn't go with miss queen to the vet at that moment and I regret that. And I will probably regret that for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Speaking of someone who I have had to take many, many an animal to the vet for their last day. And I've also... Uh, and I've, I've gone in the back with them, and I have not gone in the back. What I can say is that the hurt is the same. It hurts a little more. Like with Emma, I tried really hard to remember what her ears smelled like. Um, she was she was completely out of it, so I I was lucky there. But I think you know it's okay. I went. He had someone there. He had someone there, and it's it's fine. I, st I still have my days uh, around this time of year since um, Emma died on December 3rd of last year, and I got her ashes back on my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Um, so this year has been extremely hard um, because I can't think of Teddy without thinking of Emma, and I can't think of Emma without thinking of Teddy because it was literally after... Uh, Emma's death was like completely um, out of the blue and for the next three months if I wasn't going to get food or taking Teddy to a vet appointment I was sleeping on the couch um, like literally Zoe and I we slept on the couch all day all night we just we we would like have a grief nap every single day multiple sometimes and just as I was coming that's when Teddy happened. And then that that was a whole thing. I started to come down a little bit off of that. And then I was graced with the presence of an angry toast who happened to have been born on the day that Teddy left this planet. And Ripley and her brother were hatched a month and a half after he left us. So I have to believe that Teddy had something to do with it. He knew that we would absolutely love Ripley in the best ways possible, um, especially because she's a little sassy, but she's figure outable, unlike Teddy, and he probably knew that. And then we're gonna get the little boy. 
I was thinking I, I want to call him maybe Varian or Anduin because I'm like, I'm a Warcraft girl. I think he needs a Rin name because Faye is named after Uther Lightbringer. I, I think he would be cute because Anduin's nickname, Sylvanas, calls him Little Lion. I think that would be a cute name for him. And if anyone has any ideas for a cute name for a little boy, his breeder calls him Murph for Murphy's Law. We, we can call him whatever you want. I already feel like he's been co-opted from me. Like we, sh we, all of the snakes are ours. It, it is apparent that, that Huxley and I have a bond. Like that is my soulmate. But literally every snake that comes in the house, Queeb is like, that's, that's my snake, right? That's my snake. That's my snake. And he, that is whatever the newest snake is. That is his, that is his favorite one. And he's like, no, 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 that's mine. So like whenever we got Huxley, I was like, no, that's my snake. Queeb decided he was going to name him like fantastic name him a name I hate, which now he, he is a Huxley. And he's like, I love him. This is mine. We got Faye and he's like, eh, she's, she's a little whatever. And then as soon as she started warming up, he's like, no, this is my snake. This is my snake. Same thing with Teddy. Like as soon as we got him, this is my snake. This one's mine. Every single time, like he picked out Faye, he picked out Miss Ripley Nicole over there. Name him Grom Hill. Oh, I love all the Warcraft names. I wish Queeb was more into Warcraft because... <sighs> He's just not into it. No. So tomorrow I'm picking him up. I'm leaving here. I got a drive ahead of me. I might find a Five Guys. I might I might eat a, a, a grilled cheese with some onions and some Cajun fries as my reward. I'm going to go pick up the baby and his breeder is going to let me handle, um, he has a couple of Burmese pythons that are like 18 to 20 feet long. He has some boas, he has some geckos, he even has some tarantulas. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna hang out. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna hang out in the snake lair for a little bit. Maybe get some video for you guys. And then I'm gonna bring home a baby. And by the time that I come on for the pregame and Queeb gets on. We will have a baby to show you. He might not have a name, but we will show you a baby. Even if it's just in this plastic container, we will show you a baby and you can love on him. You have enough room in your heart for both him and Teddy. Teddy promises. Teddy wouldn't send you him without being able to give him enough love. I got you, babe. Yeah. Yep. Tetris. No, I I feel that. My I lost my dad this year. And and I haven't cried a day over him. Teddy pretty much every day. And that's that's not to say my dad was a bad guy at all. He's a sweet man. But I didn't have that relationship with him. Hmm? Folks, give me one second. I'm just gonna take a quick, uh, a quick breath, break. I, I got, I got blow my nose. Um, Magisto, thank you so much for the sub, my dude. Nine months. That's three people on the same day. Nine months. I don't know what nine months. Well, uh, March was nine months ago. No. May. It wasn't. wasn't it? 
No, that was seven months ago. So it was March. I mean, you can have a quick chat, yeah. Alright. Do you want to just use this or go on the... Uh, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Miss Creep's going to take over for a little bit. I'll be I'll be right back. It won't be long. Um, and I'm also going to run a quick two-minute break just to get rid of pre-rolls for anyone coming in whilst we enjoy Nova Drift. Um, we'll start that now and then Miss Creep will be with you in a sec. Hello? Hello, hello. How y'all doing tonight? Aside from silently weeping over our, our dearly departed children. Okay. I am comfy. Am I comfy? Eh, it remains me seem, but I'm like right here. What's up? Heavenly heathen, hi. Oh no, don't cry about your baby. Your baby's fine, I'm sure of it. Hi Majesto, how are you? Do I from for the people who were here earlier? I know I can ask Queeb and he's gonna be like dramatically different. But on your end, how different do I sound from this mic as opposed to the one that I was on like during the pregame before Queeb got on? If anyone can tell me that would be great. Be the same. To be fair, I'm the same with my beardies. Oh, beardies. I have thought. I have thought about getting a bearded dragon. Not here. Not not here. Um, mainly because we have no room. Even if. Even if every every inch, of everything was completely cleaned up, cleaned out, and we had no extra furniture or knickknacks or anything in the house there is no room for a large enough enclosure for a bearded dragon thank you guys i appreciate it that helps i'm, I'm always very self-conscious about it like i'll feel fine and then Quee will say oh there's an echo you're too loud blah, blah, blah. change the volumes and it just i don't know it makes me feel very awkward and ripley is still sticking her butt out i think she's going into shed we uh we looked at her neck while she was slithering around the other day and the back of her head and her neck are like all like kind of crusty looking like whitish but otherwise her pattern doesn't change which is odd because with huxley you guys have seen photos of him on the instagram um i mean you've seen his color normally he's, he's normally like camel colored and he's like this really gorgeous like kind of like a dark plummy color and then whenever he goes into shed, he's like a light blue. And then Faye, Faye goes from like bright white to being like a, a like a, a beige sort of color. Ripley doesn't really change. I'd be interested to see what the baby does. Yeah, it goes only. So, I th I think it is, and that that may sound like well, duh, you dork. But earlier during the subathon in uh, in May and in June, I was in here. However, I was on my phone, and it didn't quite pick up as uh, as much. So, you know what? We'll make it work. Um, Ripley is going to stay there. Baby boy, you you guys. So you know how there's like a, so there's the chair, the chair. And then behind the chair is the green screen. So on the other side of the green screen is my part of the room. I am going to set up a dresser behind this green screen. Like a, it's a thinnish one because he is, he's going to be in a baby tank for right now. I will want to get him something much bigger, but for right now, He's going from a rack enclosure, which is literally a plastic drawer, to a tank, and that's going to be a big change for him. So we're going to 
I'm going to set him up. He will be here. He'll be super close. Queeb may want to switch him and Ripley out. I'm not sure if Miss Ripley would appreciate that, but you know what? We'll make it work. Trying to see what all I can see from here. My glasses are just... I have... Uh, they're progressives, but the... The progressive part is notched downward, so I can see perfectly straight ahead and slightly down like I'm reading on a computer. But if I'm trying to read, say, to the right on a curved monitor, <laughs> it's very difficult. Oh, we're already at 3.42. Yes. Yes, that is so awesome. Only eight more. The next giveaway. That's super cool. I can't wait. Um, no, actually, uh, we've talked about getting tattoos. I don't have any, but, um, and there's a good reason why one pain, but I've, I've been able to get over most pain situations in the last couple of years through meditation. So right now, the only barrier has been, I change my mind very often, uh, the last one I thought about was getting a big, quote unquote, big tattoo of uh, Huxley on my upper thigh, like hip area with um, um, with like some of my favorite flowers are proteas. They, they, they look like they're from freaking like Land of the Lost. And I think that would be gorgeous. And I, I know tattoo people. However, one, I need to make sure that I can pay for quality because I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go chasing a deal like my brother with his garage tattoos. You can only imagine how horrible they look. Um, but yeah, so I've thought about that. I've thought about getting, um, I was born on a waning moon and I was thinking about getting a waning moon uh, behind one of my ears, like in my hair. So I would have to like shave that part of my, my hair a bit. Um, but then no one would really know it was there, which that's, that's why I would get any tattoo. I've had so many friends have these beautiful sleeves and going out in public with them, people would just like grab their arm and be like, oh my God, look at that. That's gorgeous. And it's like, why are you touching her? That's because I'm getting my late puppy's paw prints tattooed on me. Oh. That's perfect. Um, I got, um, so Emma died in December. Teddy died in March. Uh, a couple of dogs that are animals that you have never seen because they've, they've been gone since even before Queeb and I were together. I was able to get their paw prints in clay. And even with Teddy, I have an imprint of his tail, his, the tip of his tail. And um, I've thought about getting paw prints on me, but I already start. Nitro, yes, it is Miss Queeb. Hi, hello. Um, for me anyway, I don't know if I if it would be a, a a cap on my personal morning process. It sounds very, very weird and kind of mean ish. For me, with my ADHD, it literally is out of sight, out of mind. And that does help because, like, I, from where my desk is, if I look over to the left, I have all of their urns. And that is just, oh. And then it just brings it right back up and it literally feels like it was yesterday. So it's very hard for me to, to grow and just kind of, you know be comfortable with that like even even when was it i think it was on my birthday um my dog of 15 years died um she died like over the summer before queeb and i got together and her her birthday is christmas eve so every year christmas eve that is difficult and 
for me at least that's that's enough of a reminder because i'm going to just be a wreck i know i am but i ha um i had a friend she got um i i don't i don't know anything about styles of tattoos or anything like that but she got it looked like a a, a portrait like in a circle kind of like a cameo of her cat and she got it on one of her thighs it was literally like hand size it was huge well it is huge she's still she's still around um and for her that's what she needed to uh to help mourn losing a dog oh yeah absolutely it's um it's it's definitely rough like out of out of the animals that i've had Emma's the only one that, that has been in this month of hell, which is, is basically what I just used to describe anything from November to early January, just because it, it seems like anything like, like my dad's passing, um, his wake, uh, dealing with uh, my parents' divorce, all of that is literally within December. Garage tattoos, ooh, dirty needles. He, so I don't have too much info on that. What I do know is that someone, someone who wanted to be a tattoo artist owed him money and said, I'll give you some tattoos if, if you'll call it even. And we're talking like, like a thousand bucks or something. And my brother said, yeah, that's cool. So he literally, if you look up bad tattoos, it's like freehand old English font that is crooked. There's a cross that's like a foot long and it's uneven and, and a cross. It, a cross is called a cross for a very specific reason. Like just awful, awful, awful. Uh, now I'm not trying to be invasive, but with ADA. Double the harsh. I'm not sure about double the harshness, but it it literally feels like it just happened. Because you uh you you hyper focus. And so unfortunately it's out of sight, out of mind for everything. That includes people you're dating, tasks at work, everything. So like upside, out of sight, out of mind, but downside, out of sight, out of mind. And when you do think of it, it's just right in front of your face, hyper-focused. Oh my God, I'm reliving this. And it literally feels like it's happening. Like, like you're going through it again. It's awful. It's so stupid. Use those painful memories to motivate me to rescue and love more animals. I love that nitro. I'll finish up in just a second, babe. I've heard that it just processed differently because you end up not really sitting with it. Exactly. Like instead of, instead of sitting there and working through, which to be fair, I have sat, I've, I've worked through those traumas and, and that grief and I have worked on it, but then it's, it's literally, this sounds so stupid. It's literally like grief kicks you in the face randomly. Um, especially the last few nights, like at nighttime has been hard because I'm laying there and I'm just like, Oh my God, my baby's so dead. Oh my God. And just like, just flat out bawling while I hear Queeb in here playing. Um, and it, it's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just, you know, it's grief. It's this time of year. I knew about it. I knew it was going to happen. It happens every year. What's going on, Queeblet? Some settings here, apparently. Sorry. There are times that I'm a disaster too. It's almost been. I'm so sorry, Heavenly. Truly. If you hear that water buffalo behind me, that's Zoe. She's such a weirdo. She definitely makes up for uh for the loss of her sister. Absolutely. Like as soon as Emma died, she, she stepped up from being a puppy to like being the, like 
She is the adult dog in the house. It's so gross. Uh, her name changes daily. Um, right now, I think it's been consistent. Zoe Alize Zamora McQueeb. Are you comfy? Yes. Oh, you sitting over there so you can see dad? I'm. My dog I recently passed. She's on my profile. Oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Like ever to everyone who's lost a dog, especially this year. I'm so sorry. It's, it's, it's such a horrible hurt. Humans make good and bad choices, good and evil choices. Animals don't. It's like the morning. Yes. Nitro is correct. That, that's exactly what it is. Like, like even with a, a quote unquote bad dog or a bad cat, it, it's still there there's you know it, it, it that doesn't mean anything i will i will absolutely if she'll let me do it can i boop you she has a pink freckle on her nose and i booped it for everybody bo i'm so sorry sending you good vibes you got it working Anyway, I just want to tell everybody, I hope you are having a good December. And if you aren't having a good December, I hope you're having an okay December. And I hope the time passes for you quickly if you're not having a good one. Nitro, tears are good. Tears, tears are good. Give yourself a minute or two to cry and then just zip it up. I'm, I am finished. I love all of you. You are all amazing. Good thoughts, happy thoughts. If you would like to say anything to me via Discord or on DMs on Twitch, you can. I love you all. I'm giving you a hug. I will see you in a little bit. Thanks for hanging out with Ms. Queep, folks. I've been trying to get this uh, controls working. How do you fuck up Steam controls? It's literally built in. Um, it says thrust is B button, which literally makes no sense. Um, Reroll B button. I went, let's reset. Confirm A button. Where's the B button on? Reroll B button. Confirm A button. Okay. So I want thrust to be A button. But it. No. It's backwards. Why? Why is it backwards? It's. So for some reason. I didn't used to have this problem. I obviously haven't played the game in forever, but um, I've tried disabling the, the Steam input, and this is Steam input direct. Maybe I need to... Okay, so hang on. Let's fucking do some weird shit here. Let's go big picture mode. Controller settings, PlayStation configuration support, PlayStation 5 controller. Identify, good, got it. Preferences. That's fine, whatever. A is equal to X on PS controller. No, 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 I, I know the difference between the two. That's, that's neither here nor there. Problem is I was pressing A which is X, and it was telling me it was B. Um, I hope this doesn't fuck it up, because I really, I need this. I need a controller. I can't play with mouse and keyboard here.
two axis eight button gamepad. No, I don't know what the fuck that is. I hate big picture mode, can't stand it. It's for TVs and shit, right? Properties. Controller. Disable Steam input. I would have just said use default settings. Let's try again. It used to work fine. It used to work fine, but thrust needs to be... Um, thrust, not... No input whatsoever. So clearly that has to be disabled. Controller. Disable Steam input. Which means, I guess, Windows is, is taking priority now? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the buttons are all fucked. Um, okay, so we need to define gamepad controls. Steering, left stick, stabilize reverse, left stick press, sure. Uh, right shoulder trigger. So fire, I think stays on that, but I'm going to have to... Okay, that works. Thrust. B button for some reason. Confirm. Uh, B button also. Reroll. X button. Banish mod. X is uh, left side. Apparently that's A. Upgrade. Y button. Alright. Blink and strafe. Mod, strafe left. Um, I don't use blink and strafe, I don't think. Deploy constructs. That will be mm, automatic. Drone formation, D-pad. Okay, so select button now works. What the hell, man? It's, I've always had this problem with this game. I don't know why. Maybe if they gave me the update that I need so desperately. Okay, let's try. Uh, we want Wild Metamorphosis active, yes. Endless, yes. Uh, let's disable a lot of this shit for now. And just give it a... we'll have a practice run. Okay, this seems all right. So far. We'll soon find out. Asteroids? Well, not quite exactly. <laughs> Big differences. Ready to upgrade. Okay, so... But it said Y, ready... Whatever. We're good. It's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, hell yeah. Let's go salvo build. Next one, we want, um, let's have a look, shields. Mm, 
I mean, I gotta go. I gotta go Halo, right? Or Orbital, depending on body type. Battery might be decent. Um, projectiles are divided between broadside cannons. That's fine. Next, blast radius. Nah, we definitely want to get some healing in. The crazy FPS lag once the enemy ca causes. Oh, Reaper, you probably know more about this than I do. Blast radius. Yeah, that works. I do love Halo Shield. Oh, I don't think I'm playing on experimental. I used to play Noita on the experimental build, but uh, yeah, not since I stopped playing. Targeting sounds good. Last damage would also be pretty good. Velocity, I'm not so sure about. Like targeting. They do have new music. That's the last time I, I checked it out. They've got some new new tracks added. I remember uh, Pixel Jam games. It is Pixel Jam, right? Reaching out to me and telling me there was an update. Grandeur. Rapid fire, rate of fire. That's charge time with... Uh, we'll take Ranger. I wonder if Ataraxia is worth taking with this. Maybe, maybe not. our first boss. Yeah. We're good at clearing, not so good at individual targets, which makes sense. Alright, what do we got? Magnitude, absolutely freaking lootly. Burn damage, yes, also. I might take volley. Corrosion, I mean. I do have to start looking at defense. Singularity detected. Just go straight in. Thank you again, Ms. Queeb, for entertaining chat while I was briefly gone there. Purification. Massive damage down. No, we'll take... Uh... Adaptive armor. It's 
splinter volley what did I say about defense I can't remember I'm sure it was important at the time I don't... I still don't know if I want Ataraxia or not. If you know whether... Shit. If it would be good... I'm going to lose all that experience. Let me know. I can save up a few... Barrage Warp Strike. Uh, at least your shots won't go missing, if that's the case. What do I need? What's a prerequisite for Warp Strike? I mean, I could could look it up yourself, McQueeb. Yeah, but why look it up when chat can help you? Snipe and blink. Snipe with this. Okay. I think I will go for Ataraxia. Bad guy, bad guy. Yep, get rid of him ASAP. Makes sense though. That would be a yeah, very decent upgrade here. Fuck you. Shit. Oh, here we go. Where's he coming from? Four upgrade stockpiles. Not bad, not bad at all. That's five. Uh, now I re-roll, right? Till we get it. There you are. Alright. Payload. Minus rate of fire. High explosive blast radius. All strength as well. Yeah, let's go defense here. Absorption, awesome. Shield your ability. This is the game of the day, yep. Ms. Queeb chose very well in my opinion. And despite some minor issues with the setup of the controller, I'm sure we'll be fine. Minus velocity adds recoil. Force armor. Let's get rapid fire. All right. I guess you like this kind of enemy layout, huh? Oh, I much prefer controller here. Absolutely. 
Did I like Disco Inferno? The Disco Inferno. That's the song lyric. Disco Elysium. Loved it. Excellent game. I don't know if I'll play it again on stream, though. What makes something streamable? Um, not something about... Uh, graphic murder and investigations and autopsies and slurs and hateful people, shitty people, alcoholism, um, ultra-violence for the sake of being violent. I mean, religious extremism and infanticide, that we can deal with. Um, but no, I draw the line at, at, the, at the former. I'm going to die here, I think. This enemy has always been a pain. Got him. Shit. Run. Let me guess, the writer has mental health issues? The writing was amazing in the game. Like, zero complaints about the writing, actually. Very good. Fusillade might be... Might be decent here. Oh, you're new? Sli well, slightly different. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what I always say. Just ask Ms. Queeb. We got another boss in income? Yes, we do. Troublemaker, too. The uh, enemy interruption during boss fights? Is that... is that normal? Fuck. Not good. death. Lucky. Very lucky. Oh, 
Oh, that ain't good either. Fuck Miss Queep, snakes. Did I see the link? I have that game. Pixel Jam sent that to me ages ago. In fact, they reached out personally on Twitter because they knew I had snakes. I haven't played it. it I don't care for snake. The game. I like. I like the animals. Yeah. 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 I do, Miss Queen. Have I played it? I might have run it once. Maybe? You, you know how many games I get sent, right? An evolution of the game Snake, as made famous by the Nokia 5110, is not what I would consider my type of game. Oh, we're starting to we're starting to get into trouble here. Can we play it on stream? Uh, between now and December 24, that's not for me to decide. It probably wasn't in the list. Would chat like to see whatever fucking snake game? I won't make it the game of the day because I think that's unfair to the spirit of the competition, the, the, the tournament. We can play it a bit, I guess. Snake game, the one with RPG characters. You're thinking of Snickrix, that is not on the list either. Um, something the developer said on Twitter. I choose not to support him. Some, maybe, was it about NFT, NFTs? I can't remember. But that's a, that's a red flag for me. Maybe it wasn't NFTs, but it was certainly not in line with my line of thinking, that's for sure. Uh, two upgrades, ten rerolls. Core shielding, absolutely. Want ally? Yeah. Uh, firing a firing array. There's a lot. Yeah, okay. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, there was there was a. I don't, know, I don't associate with people whom whom's ideals aren't uh, in the best human interest. Starting to hit really freaking hard now.
How's my damage? It's okay, huh? Not, not amazing. Yeah, I might not take this ship type anymore. The spread... Show the split shot rather the, the bifurcated shot is not enjoyable to use. Holy fuck. Now we got a boss fight. This Fusilla double space projectiles plus one minus blast radius total projectile damage. That's fun. What was what well, you said? It was snipe and what else as a prerequisite? Teleport. Oh no! Him, him a chunky boy. Yep, they've modified him as well. That's a lot more mines than the last time we met. Blind and snipe. What does blind do? Stop doing that, sir. Ow. Ow. He ain't dead. Now he is. God damn. It's a scary room. That looks like it's been changed. Galvanic Outburst, is it? Yeah. Uh, let's roll those, I think. Yeah, that's an easy get. Do the colors of the mods correlate to anything? Yes. Um, so black mods are special. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. Let's help. Let's help. Uh, pink are damage. Blue. Sorry, red is red is damage or weapon related. Purple. Uh, so pink is defense and there's combinations of both as well. And then there's wild mods on top of that. Dying star is dope. If you get, if you can get a decent dying star build, amazing. If not, it's horrifying. Ah, oh, shit. 
shit. Yeah, shooting directly in front would have been so much better with this build. We are very tanky though. It's quite good. Just my killing power kinda kinda sucks right now. Well, my Halo shield is certainly not as strong as it was. I've forgotten so much about this game. It's amazing what you can forget in... ...relatively short amount of time. I did! Not yet! <laughs> you will be. Wouldn't mind a mind build either. Not now, clearly. Alright, there's Snipe. It's gonna be pretty bad for a while, actually. Maybe Blink would have been a better first purchase. Reflective shields isn't bad. Rebuke is pretty good. Where does Blink come from? What tree is that? Maybe the end, friend. Okay. Drusters, you say, huh? Be all right. Regen flash shielding. Ah, that ain't it. Concentrated blast is good. Yeah, I may not have a choice soon. Less explosion radius, 35% more damage was it? Ah, 
Ah, shit. That's true, that's true. Very, very slow. It's alright, I'll fix that with the crash build real soon. Ah, you. Yeah, if all of our shots were being launched from the front, this would be so much better. Deadly Wake Streamline. Is that is that blink at the very bottom there? I think it is, right? Does Ms. Queeb like to game? Ms. Queeb, do you like to game? Oh, shit. Oh, you got friends now. Okay, cool. Very tough. Yeah, please stop hitting me. Yep, anytime. Fuck. So dead. So dead. Please recharge. What's the upgrade that gives me two five levels? 
of upgrades but strips me of all my rerolls. I need that right now. What are we, 40 something? It's about time. No, only 34. Oh, okay. Quantum decoherence. Oh boy, um... Oh yeah, we fast as fuck now, boy! Later, spectator. Take it easy, dude. Two rerolls. Do you need both of the prerequisites or just one on the fourth upgrade in a tree? Just one. Oh, good. Okay. Again, so annoying. Him, him, chunky. Not the place I want to be. Not the place I want to be. That was all me. Hmm, <laughs> zero rerolls now. Uh oh. We can't wait. Don't necessarily have to take something here. How's my... let's see. Bad. Real bad. Okay.
Do we have purification yet? We don't, right? Big shock. Is there still more stuff to unlock or, or are we, we done still? Can't remember. No new mods yet, okay. Dude went full tech, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what was said. It doesn't matter. Grenade... Grenade mines? Yay or nay? Yay, right? Tough one to get started. Architect mines. Ah, okay. I think Ataraxia again might be a good play. Five levels though, that's a lot, man. Maybe later. Grenade that's more small spawn smaller grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we can do that. That's pretty easy. But combined with a mine, uh, what shields necessarily? That's a good question. Targets and projectiles within the shields affect radius are greatly slowed. Do we want to give our construct shields then at that in that point? I think shockwave. We shall see. We shall see. One construct at a time. Plus 50% mine effect. Okay. Okay. We auto deploy? Yeah, we are too. Nice. Yeah. 
Loaded mines. Yep. Retribution. When you take a hull hit of at least 15% of your maximum hull, you automatically deploy a mine. Mine fields. Your mines are deployed all at once in a cluster. Plus three mine construct limit. Does the body override that? The body does override that, so that's worthless. Um, we don't want anything else here. is good if you want apex yeah you're gonna have to probably just steer me in the right direction here things to look out for think we want mortar apex is the shielded shielded mines right uh, that's no good without drones though Unless we have galvanized. Hmm. You like the charge mines, got it. Oh well, just, this is fine for now. Three upgrade stockpile. I'm gonna go for Ataraxia and Mine Specialist, of course. Shield back, dude. Ugh. The explosions kind of sound, um, hollow. Let's get a sixth just in case mine specialist comes along. Does rate of fire affect my construct hull assembly speed? That's probably important. Like it. 
two rerolls. Come on, dude. Be nice. Rate of fire. All right, we're not going with that then. Magnitude, for sure. Targeting, yes. Blast radius, obviously, as well. Splinter. Homing strike. Each of the broadsides. Sure. I might be heading down too many paths at once here. It's okay. Do I take the ally thing? Because I haven't played this game in probably close to a year. And um, the decisions that I'm making are based on sheer guesswork without having to read everything all over again. It certainly seems to be doing all right. Pretty too. Minus 5% rate of fire. Still good. Like my next door, next door neighbors every uh, every day of the year. Oh, is it Tuesday? We gotta celebrate, honey. Grab the box. I don't really want charge shots. I want my mines to be either my primary weapon or uh, possibly even like their own thing where I don't have a shield anymore. Overseer, that's the one. Oh, so that is what I'm after? Loaded mines? Yeah, different story now that the shield's on the other foot. Still can't believe I didn't get those boots off that dead corpse last night.
I'm gonna get those boots though. Convergence, plus two projectiles, plus spread, minus 50% velocity rate of fire and size. Mm. Maybe we go for... No, because that doesn't work with... Um... That doesn't work with the other thing at all, does it? There's Overseer. Gotta get Orbs of Discord. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a mandatory when you see it. Come on, fight it! Oh, not right into the guy. I dead? Nope, probably should be. Get him, Discord guys. Have they made energizing energized shields? No. Scorching wake better? I can't remember. Grenade sounds fun. Get that cursor out of there. What the hell? Charge shot loaded mines. Okay. Need a lot of velocity. Right on. Did I? I'm an idiot. What did I banish? There's that control fucking... I pressed the wrong button. Charge shot. I don't really want it though. Well, let's try. All right, that kind of hits like a truck. It's a bit loosey-goosey, this build. I, uh, 
I think I've made a few mistakes. Revelation worth What would be a decent one to get there? Not grandeur. Oh Yeah, maybe grandeur. Would be very slow, but I'll forget and I'll take something like uh, hyper metabolism, insta regret. Charge mines. Your mines charge your weapon at 100% of your charge rate. Charge shot no longer applies to you. Your mines no longer detonate when an enemy is within their trigger rate radius, but on impact. Minus one mine construction limit. Your mines constantly take damage. Okay. Is it possible to make game-breaking builds like in Isaac? Yes, Nomios. But um, the game just keeps getting more and more difficult until you eventually die. And you have to be very careful um, with this because there's no going back once you've made a decision and you can make some pretty pretty big mistakes just by choosing one wrong thing, for example. Now, do we want retribution as well? We might now, huh? Rapid fire, probably better option. Only if you want Apex. We'll give it a shot. So I've lost my mines altogether now. No, no, they're still there. Wow. Triggers when the projectile is destroyed on impact. Okay. Fast radius is probably good. I mean, they're mines, McQueeb. They're not yours. It's...
We probably want to go down the thermal tree as well, I, I presume. Ow. Oh, that was nearly dead. <laughs> Woo. Recursive mods are gained an additional time. Weapon damage does affect the grenade damage of the mine. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's stack rev revelation. So no, we can't take this three times. This is a one only. Uh, let's roll. Radius minus damage plus. Get applied six times from Revelation. Yep, I think so. A visitor chat. It's that time of the night again. Can say hello? Yeah. Oh, you're cold, buddy. Yeah, I'm cold blooded, Dad. Don't be dumb. Go and eat something then. Yeah. I don't want to. Oh, you're going to have a brother soon. You ready? You're excited? I'm excited. You'll probably swallow him whole. I probably would. Give me a chance, bitch. I'm hungry. Oh, I love, I love feeling his breath on my face. Little tiny, little tiny. <laughs> this is Huxley. He can attack me? Oh, please. Huxley, hell no.
Yeah. He I'm wants this. He's all over the place. I want some fucking food. You gotta eat. I don't wanna eat. You you gotta eat. I don't want to. You gotta. <laughs> Loaf's a dog! Exclamation mark! No. Puppy! puppy? Exclamation mark puppy! Exclamation mark loaf! Exclamation mark pet count! Nine months old, not Almost. nine weeks old now. Yeah. That's fine. Damn. Dad. Dad, I want to get up here. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Dad. Not allowed. Dad, are there? Are authorized, there? authorized personnel only. So, Dad, I heard that they don't know that under the beanie there are rats. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them up there, aren't there? Can you, can you take it off for me, Dad? Just one, just once. Somebody, somebody has over a million points, Dad. They just, they just need to keep, you know, bedding it and stuff. One day they're gonna hit ten million. Then what you gonna do? You're gonna have to take it off. Show me them rats. Might as well do it today. Look at him. So Queeb is a meat mecha piloted by rats. Absolutely, four thousand percent he is. Look at this ape. He feels like a you. I, I say this with all respect. He feels like a used football. Yeah, you know, like the newer ones, the bumps are more present, and and his bumps, he's smoother. He, he's smoother. Like like he's a well loved football, like very smooth. Um, they don't feel warm. Get him. He is going to go into shed. Look how yellow that is. Oh, you're not gonna bite me. You're gonna give me kisses on my face. Come here, my love. Can I have you? What was that? Oh. <laughs> There's something warm in my grip. I think it might be a rat. It's not a rat, actually. But it might be Noodle Puppy. Oh my God, Loaf is beautiful. He's a beautiful boy. He's, He's five times bigger than what he was when he was a big boy. 70 pounds right now. And we have to have him on Prozac, like human Prozac, I think in small dose, but yeah. Goodbye, son. Give him something small again. He's like, oh yeah, that's what they taste like. Cause we've, we've so wasted like $10 worth of rats on him. Too much for him. Yeah. Alrighty. Mm. Okay. Uh, we're going for overseer, right? Self destruction. 
When your constructs are destroyed, they release a damaging shockwave. Yeah, that sounds like a good combo. That sounds like a very good combo. Very strong. Not not so good in the uh, defense department, but we are, yeah. We're rocking here. Lots of damage. Should we go for Overseer earlier or grab this? That's a decent mod. Um, I will take it. It's fine. Wave 90, wow, okay. Back up here again. Right, Overseer takes your weapon away from you, huh? Um, I don't know about the mines then, because we're shooting them so infrequently. What would be... How do I fix that? Hello, Murder Hobo. I wanted to say, Murder Hobo, I saw your meme on Discord. <laughs> it was good. Everybody's favorite bad guy. And by favorite, I mean least favorite.
order to deploy manual so you can place them strategically. Ah. Right. Yeah, we don't need it, maybe. But no, I get it. I get it now. We still got triple plus projectile still isn't overridden by our body, right? So that would be a waste. Eight rerolls. Let's go with that. You get plus one. Yeah, not yet. Heavy caliber. That's minus 21% projectile velocity. Minus 6% rate of fire. Pretty significant recoil, I'm sure. Zero point zero four seconds flat rate of fire delay between bursts. Three upgrades and seven rerolls. Could you get to the mine launcher special? Oh, we don't have that yet, do we? That one. It makes mines your weapon. Oh, the grenadier, whatever it's called. Mort mortar or yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. What tree is that in? I'll take this anyway. Um Give it a shot. Oh, you need Overseer. It's a super mod. Shit. That's why you said three rerolls, right? Understood. Then let's save. How do I get out of this menu? Start. Okay. Never mind, I'm dead. Try enable... Consider enabling as many challenge mode as possible. The increased experience you gain will allow you to reach greater levels of power. You know what? Keep, keep your levels of power. There you go, that's my strongest run so far, 1.27. What build even is that? Snake. Halo. Okay. Reckon? Alright. Getting started is tough though.
What do I want this time? Dart is really good. And I had a decent blade build once, but then I took one thing and it fucked it. Or... What if we go something like a flak? And go for an engineer build. Or we just skip it altogether. Black is different now. Scales harder with projectiles. Doubles added projectiles gained from upgrades. Okay. I still want to go Halo at least early. We can switch later, I guess. Um, or, or Amp. Halo's too good. Good defense. I can I can clear with just that. How do I feel about ramming builds? Love them. Love them. We'll be we'll be trying that later. Minus rate of fire. Minus ten percent maximum shields. Minus thirty percent rate of fire. Right, because you don't end up not firing at all. Viper. I'll do an engineer build, I think. Okay, nearly died. Cool. Shield your ability. Rapid fire. Let's, yeah, let's go with like a lot of defense. So what's the single biggest upgrade for, uh, shit, this build. Not dead. Should be dead. You said singular strike? Shockwave attack paired with the mod that reverses your attack so you can use your attack to boost yourself. Volley, focused fire, fusillade. All right. The splinter work with it. Oh, that's right, they nerfed the engineer build slightly, didn't they? So dead, yep. Try again. Because we turned all of these on, for sure.
Um, I had a decent crash build once with that, the orbital shield. Um, I think I took something that killed it, like really late game. I can't remember. Same. Plus three projectile for projectile weapons. Plus 10% rate of fire. Minus 60% spread. Minus 10% weapon damage, blast radius, and projectile size. Projectiles are divided between broadside cannons. Oh! It's that one. It's like a worse version of that. stronger huh yeah 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 okay let's get a little bit of targeting it's targeting good with flak Double tap plus burst fire. Doesn't seem to be a negative there unless burst fire is trash. Minus spread. Do we want that or the other side? Other side is singular strike, right? Uh, I think. Central projectile. Other projectiles also receive adjustments to projectile damage and blast radius, incrementally decreasing to zero for your outermost projectiles. Plus 30% total projectile size for your central projectile. Plus 10% projectile spread. Yeah, I don't think we want that. Plus one burst fire. Plus... 15% damage as blast damage to other targets. Oh! Fuck! Cool. <clears throat> Tough. 
have to get started on these runs, man. Have they fixed Torrent? Torrent was average before. Thermal Lance is dope. At least it was. Pulse could be fun. Pulse with Corsair or Corsair is dope. Vortex difficult to use. Blade difficult to use. Ish. Go Pulse. And... Give me hug. So now we want radius for sure. I like the speed increase from this. It's dope. Again, really tough to get started. Doesn't matter the build, really. It is tough. Fifteen percent blast radius. Volley minus twenty percent blast radius. Let's go with defense here. That speed is dope. Four upgrade stockpile. Let's just keep going. Let's get a few more. And not die? Not dying. Not, let's not die. You're really new to Twitch. Just found the page entering like 12 of the questions. Uh, Nitro, what, what questions? Did I miss something? Um, uh, but either way, happy to answer questions. Shield effect radius. Yes, we want that too. And barrier, we want. Radiant shields. Rupture. Enemies rupture when destroyed, dealing blast damage to other nearby targets. Sure. When you asked about the animals and snakes. Dude. If, if I miss it, stop. You're fine. Totally cool. Galvanic Outburst times three. Fuck off. I was nearly dead, clearly.
Uh, let's go for a crash build this time. Should I... So here's the question. Should I skip... Skip selecting weapons and shit altogether for crash builds? We still need something, right? So let's take... I don't know. That. Later, Lawn Gnome. Take it easy, dude. Hidden power refunds. Even the ones you selected at the very beginning. Put into your weapon, not the actual weapon. Aha! Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, the best shield? We're going to go with the... the... Not the pulse one that we just had. The other that I was talking about before. orb one. That one. And we are getting rid of shields, correct? Or, no, we're keeping sh shields, but getting rid of hull. More hull, right. But are we getting rid of shields? If that's the case, then I've, I've already wasted a couple of points. <laughs> shields, who needs them? Alright then. Hold me, baby. Oh, that was the... You know the one. Minus thrust. Hmm. I... Crash knockback resistance. Yeah, I mean, minus thrust is fine. Solar heart. Later. Can you take a shield hit? Nope. Revelation. Yeah, we'll take that. Scorching wake. I mean, we get, we get three of them for the price of two. Not bad. Masochism. Yeah, go on. Okay, we're not quite ready yet. Rampage. 
Maelstrom. Yes, I like it. I also want adaptive armor. Constant thrust power. That one we want to take later. Maelstrom's a no. So the only time it, that screwed me up is the when the the dart throwing enemies, you know, the ones that sort of throw two of them, they get caught up in Maelstrom and then they kind of wind up on you. Good to know. Uh, we take adaptive armor then. Uh, hull hit equal to exceeding 15% of your maximum hull. You automatically fired an empower attack, which will be taken away from us. So we don't need that. Absorption. Three plating. Nice. Rapid reconstruction is good for ramming builds. And we need one of those later as well. What is... Did I miss it? All right, rapid reconstruction. Woo! When you're not thrusting, plus 15% hull damage resistance. When you're not thrusting, okay, that works. Celestial Lance. When moving at high speed, searing aura that burns you and nearby targets ignites targets for 45 burning damage per second. Aura size, burn damage, and self damage are proportional to your speed. Aha, that one can get bad. When you're not firing, plus 20% regen. Sure. Ow. That's right, you want the shield, um, the shield ship to have, like, the shields be ultra effective. It's, st it's starting to come back to me. Fuck. 
scary. While your shield protects you, damage is divided evenly between your hull and your shields. We don't have a shield anymore. Hellbreaker ship is how you got your damage in a single hit. Achievement 50k. Okay. That's what I want. There it is. Rapid reconstruction. Goodbye shield. Targets take more global damage the more damage you are. I think from Skirmish we do want that, right? Plus 25% crash damage. Yeah. After you fire your weapon, targets take plus 50% total crash damage. When you hit a target with crash damage, your next weapon attack gains... But I think it's, it's Blitz and Terminate we want, which is kind of like Guillotine from Risk of Rain, if I remember correctly. Not a not a bad thing to have. Any stretch. Really wants me to take Celestial Lance. Rebuke Ray Ray or Nay. And the ability to stabilize your momentum on command. Alright. I should be traveling at speed now. Oh no. Please stop. How far away do you think the uh, the dev is from releasing that? That's the update I think a lot of people are waiting for. If the experimental branch isn't, if I like, if I have access to it, I could switch over. I don't mind. Transmog only recursive wild mods. Ah. Candescence, plus 20% burn damage, corrosion, and... Do we, do we want this here? Terminate, plus rate of fire. Targets at less than or equal to 12% of their maximum hull are destroyed by weapon hits or crash damage. Only if you want purge. Hmm. Hmm. 
No! God damn it, I missed it again. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, let's let's install it. All right, one sec. Do I need a special code or is it just properties? Betas. Experimental early alpha. Proton or legacy OS X. I guess it's just early alpha. Every three days getting an, uh, an update, that's dope. Did Isaac have another update yesterday? Wait just a minute here. What did it update? Seven one point seven point seven point A. Okay, just basics. The Megaton Wisps not being rendered. Got it. Okay. Nova Drift Experimental. Here we go. I used to love playing Nova Drift, actually. Um... It, it was... It was very nice at the end of a, a long stream just to sit there in the dark and just am I doing Isaac you haven't seen me play Isaac yet a little bit a little bit station Omega is a big boy now watch out Well, I'm a big boy too! Alright, I'm gonna go shield shield build this time for sure. Oh, alright boys. Got six of you now, huh? Fair, fair, fair. Let's get some weapons up in here. Same again. Dog is passed out on the couch. Like, paws up in the air like this. Oh, listen to those sound effects. Okay. Okay. Did I just get four upgrades in a row? Yeah, certainly did. Now what about Maelstrom? Maelstrom's a yes now, right? Has to be. 
Has to be a yes. It doesn't use all XP that way if you're trying to reroll. You can skip the first couple. Um, because you don't get rerun refunded if you get rid of... So, so it's, it's just being ultra efficient. You need to be a top tier player, which I am certainly not. Go Maelstrom. Shields. Barrier. How are the runs going? Ending very fast. Very. What are these things? <laughs> hey, little fellas. What's going on? Oh, you hit pretty hard. Okay. Explode. Cool. I like it. I, I like. I don't like it. There's a ton of new shit already. Oh boy. Um. This is gonna be a short one. We we doing it. Yeah, proceeding without um, proceeding without some of the base upgrades is doable, but like I said, it's very tough. Targets within the weaponized effect take plus twenty percent total damage modified, but by the shield effect. Fuck yeah, we want that. Good. Uh, we want ongoing... We want to be taking constant damage, don't we? I think that's kind of mandatory for this build. is that thing oh I don't like it I, I, I just don't like it
Mm -mm. We don't want any any whole business going on here. Don't want any of these. Maybe bravado, but that's a bit scary. Banish all mods currently offered to you. Seven rerolls minus seven percent size. What do we got? Hyper metabolism. If I had one. Wait. We do want a hyper metabolism, don't we? I think we need it. I think it's mandatory. Which is a shame because everything else could kind of disappear as far as I'm concerned. Eat that, shieldy boy. If that's indeed your real name. It's not his real name. But he shall henceforth be known as shieldy boy. Evolutionary niche adds the void. Your body gear unique powers are improved by 10%. I think we want one of those as well. At least, at least one. New song? Hmm. Efficiency though. Okay. Oh, very nice. That's why I died. His fucking shield is the same as mine. Or at least the effect he's got there. Uh, not Galvanic, the other one. Boom! got Nova Drifted. Well, here we go. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, we're zooming out. It's that big. Same attacks. Slightly. Gemini Protocol. Him, him very big now. Ah. Oh, this ain't good. Gotta leave, gotta leave, gotta leave, gotta leave. Oh, he's shooting twice now. Alright. I dig the new design. Pretty cool. We 
want to get a, a galvanic outburst, at least one, and uh, discord orbs. Now I can get rid of all of these, huh? Fuck yeah. Oh, did I miss out on something important? Fuck. <laughs> And there you go, just like that. A simple mistake. I'm dead. All right, who wants to see another build? Go ahead and, and hit me. I'll get started. Does this stuff work now? No. Oh. Wrapping homing railgun. That sounds good to me. Tough one. Another one. Another tough one to get started. Oh, you jerk. not selling McQueen beanies dude I keep I keep saying this beanie is 20 15 20 years old best estimate uh, it's falling to pieces I'm looking for a new one the ones that we have uh, available to us aren't the best quality so we, we ain't selling them Quality is is king around the, around these parts. I'm such a shit shot here. One level of homing will be uh, just fine. Give me that. I love the new sound effects and, and music though. So far so good, man. McQueeb, just use mouse and keyboard. It's real easy. Shut up. Don't, don't fly through it. Hot oh, damn. Um, if they've improved it, I'll, I'll try it. But last I tried with keyboard on this, 
it didn't... So here's here's the thing, right? Pick a game like Noita, where I was keyboard and mouse proficient. If I aimed in a direction and I switched that aim instantly, it would flip. I'd be shooting in an opposite direction in a, in a heartbeat. Now, with this game, you rotate. And that doesn't translate to mouse controls very well, in my opinion. Oh, but McQueeb, you're so wrong. Again, shut up. Agility perk helps. Right, but why should I wait until... There's an argument to be made for the design of the game, right? Like rotating. It's very old school arcade way of thinking. That's why we liken it to asteroids. Um, but it, it doesn't feel... I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't feel very intuitive, in my opinion, because it's that. It's that older design sensibility. Now, if we had instant switch or instant aiming with the game, um, some people might say, "Oh, it's a little bit too easy now." Okay, give controller players a small amount of auto-aim to compensate. Uh, Railgun, what do we want? Assault? Hmm, difficult one. Just keyboard, no mouse, and you stayed with it. Because you can... Because it is rotate. No, 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 I get it. Hey, look, each to their own. Uh, what do we want here? Let's go assault. Fucking hell, can you die? Oh, you can. Just give me one, one auto aim. That's all I want. Plus two levels, grandeur. Yeah. Sir Magic Pickle. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you. Sixteen months, Miss Queeb. Sir Magic Pickle has been subscribed to the channel for sixteen months. Oh, who's in charge now? That's right. And that raises another point, right? If there is such a disparity in control methods, um, that, that shouldn't be the case. Do we want burst fire here? I probably want to go with some shields, I think. Yeah. Screen wrapping, it's extremely difficult to align your ship properly when you're near the border because there's not enough space to adjust. Oh, right on, right on. No burst fire. No burst fire. Yeah, let's take... Uh... It's 
twin strike is better. Focus fire wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of builds are very hard to get off the ground, but once you get them started, things become a little bit easier. Is that thing that just showed up? Damn. Oh, go away, you little shits. Go away. Oh, I'm burning you. You're fine. I love it that XP still gets drawn to you now and not straight into the singularity like before. That's cool. Haha, <laughs> you suck. But I don't get the XP. I know. I'm the sucker here. Oof. Thermal Lance. Uh, barrage, yay or nay? Hello, Norcane. Lowest velocity, which is... Po oh, okay. Okay, got it. So we don't want anything that lowers the, the weapon speed. Like that. It's actually probably true to true to life as far as railgun technology goes. goes nothing homing strike projectiles have 70 percent damage and total blast radius and velocity ouch okay so that's a definite no snipe we want yeah snipe we want big time actually there's warp warp strike Stop spinning so fast. Oh, damn you. You shit. Fine, I'll just hit you from the outside then. 
Oh, McQueeb, you gotta get inside. The targets are inside. Now we're going to get in there. Maybe. Yeah. Nice. It's a very cool zoom out and zoom back in. I like it. Damage size blast radius. Incendiary strength. Ready to fire down. Yeah, that's fine. Minus 15% rate of fire again. It's good though. Splinter's real good. Yeah, we're going to have to get it. I'll start down that path. Other projectiles also receive adjustments to total projectile damage and blast radius, incrementally decreasing to 0% for your outermost. Does that mean that my center one will be plus 50% and then my outer two will be... That sounds shit. Yeah, that sounds objectively bad. Just don't get the bonus. Oh, really? That's a much better description. Your other projectiles also receive adjustments to total projectile size, incrementally decreasing to minus 30% for your outermost. Okay, that's fine. That that sounds a lot better, actually. We'll, we'll try it. Oh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. They look identical size to me. Look at you, you little, you little fuzzy looking dude. You got friends now. That sucks.
Oh, fuck. So dead. So dead. So dead. Nasty wave. All right, next build. What are we doing? I mean, that's that sure is a starting build, I guess. Yeah. Construct build. Short range laser. We'll, we'll get there in a sec. Uh, black Crusalade is pretty fun. I've, we tried that before. It didn't work very well. We shall try. Uh, what's your shield and ship type? A vortex Overseer? That's Now you're talking. That's That sounds fun. Uh, this is this is Torment's build, so we're gonna roll with with whatever he's. Uh, sorry, no, this is uh, Fatal Hobo's build. Is this real, quote unquote, real Mexican cola? Bottled under the authority of the Coca-Cola company. Okay, okay. Product in Mexico. Warp shields. Solid defense. Warp shields. When destroyed, the shield teleports you forward a distance equal to the shield effect radius. Creates a deadly pulse at origin and destination points, dealing 600 times 2 each. Okay. <laughs> Fuck these ships, dude. What the hell? What was that, wave 3? Should we try that again? Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Rocks. <laughs> Rocks are a good start. Nope. Nope. And then ship type as well, Fatal. Maybe I will disable uh, Mayhem mode then. Be, uh... Assault or Firefly? What is Firefly? Oh, Firefly's the the weird looking one. Looks like Assault for now. That's so weird. <laughs> All right, um, I guess we do want Yeah, okay I'm gonna have to do a dart build tonight as well. They're fun.
It's the squiddy, squiddy boys again. So mayhem just mixes up the waves a bit. Is that is that what I'm looking at here? Mm. That's fine. <laughs> oh, you control where it lands too. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Hurry up and recharge. There you go. The pushback is amazing from this. Do we want to lower the spread? No, not particularly. <laughs> oh, I like this a lot. <laughs> it's like playing Contra all over again. Everybody knows wide shot or spread shot, whatever it was called, is, is, is the way to go. Oh, McQueeb, the laser's so much... Shut up. This is great. All right, what else do I need? What's, what's next on the menu here? Payload for sure, yeah? Uh, rapid fire too, probably. Snipe and targeting. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Hmm. Twin strike with that would be dope. Oh, look at that. Times three now, it tells you. Would that be the way to go? Minus velocity. Minus velocity. A lot of recoil. Uh, yeah, we are firing reasonably quick, huh? Wow, no kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's very, very good. This should be relatively quick, I would imagine.
Ow. Still exceedingly weak here. Kind of been focusing a little bit too much on offense, you know? That's a fatal click right there. So what do we want to focus on here? Hull, shields, or both? Bigger and uglier? Yeah, it looks like it, huh? We can... We can roll. Hull goes further. Cool, okay. Do we want further um, homing? Siege weaponry. Hmm. All right, we'll skip the shield. Is Omni Shield decent or irrelevant since we're getting rid of it? Look at this guy, bringing all his friends along like that. Yeah, damage is certainly not a problem right now. That doesn't seem worth either. Hull damage resists, yes.
Okay, he's a he's a he's a big boy. He should come with a, a warning. Double tap. Rate of fire, burst fire. Yay or nay? Not sure that's we get three of them. Plus extra orbs of discord there. Two little shots. Yeah, I know, but like it's kind of a kind of a waste of a point until much later, even then. Just take rapid fire and burst fire if you want that. Well, I don't particularly like burst fire. Um well, we could re-roll. There's that one again. Ah, oh, that's too much recoil. Channeling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't touch me, don't touch me. I was able to get inside there a couple of times. Very difficult. Oh, he's almost dead. Shit. Yeah, I do really like the fact that you get the XP from killing stuff here. It makes me very happy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Help. Gonna go for a third. Yeah. He is not immune. Oh, shit. Neither am I. new friend very nice to meet you hey channeling and core shielding huh That actually sounds pretty good. It's good. All right, we'll roll with it. Yeah. That's a really impressive move you got there, bud. These ones I don't like at all. 
They're they're pretty tough. Oh, more new ones. These are great though. Cool enemies. Rapid reconstruction. Just don't get hit. Easy. I don't even have some of the basic uh, hull upgrades yet. That helps. Ah, oh, this is sick. <sighs> what are we what are we going for here? Matter rounds, payload concentrated blast, burnout reactors, payload singular strike, payload and juggernaut, deflaguration, See what they do? No. Absorption, absorption and juggernaut. Alright, let's see what we can do here. There's juggernaut. And Force Armor, of course. Okay. It'd be nice to, um, not necessarily loop, but just have a, have a practice run where no, no score is recorded, but you could select pretty much whatever you want. I know there's cheats built in, but... Oh, that's right, his, his health is dependent on, this is gonna hurt. Yep, 
need to increase the speed of my regen too. And uh, probably not do that twice in a row. Yeah. Yep. Speed. He ain't dead yet. Up to 25 projectiles can be fused, plus 15% damage side and blast radius. Each projectile fused adds an additional plus 50% of its damage to your projectile each projectile fuse further increases that size what is this a good idea There's a prefab build mechanism now also on Discord. It wouldn't com it only combines up to 25, so that would be kind of useless. I think efficiency is what we need, right? No. No. It's strong especially with charge shot. Mm. Regen up when you're not firing. Let's roll. not getting what we need here. either. I'll take uh, Rebuke, I guess. Or Focus Fire. What about Barrage with Singular Strike? Yay or nay? up that damage I think
Not as impressive as you might hope. Oh, damn. Yeah, you can, you can definitely, um, you can ruin a build very easily. How am I only level 28? What the hell? Fuck. I don't know if we want, I don't know if we want Barrage or not. Rupture, we, we probably need in Incandescence work first, or I don't know. Siege Weaponry. What is Siege Weaponry? Is that... Oh, that's the one that adds stacks when you... Nope. Yeah, calibrate for saturation fire. Calibrate and siege weaponry. Okay. Impulsive munitions, that's the one that we were, somebody else was talking about earlier. Burst fire leads to siege. Okay. Grab that now. Same, same. Some of these challenge modes, like mixing up, mixing up the enemies is the one that is throwing me off. We're getting some waves that are just ridiculous, especially at the start. What are we, level 30-ish? To do it? Siege weaponry. There you go. No burst fire. No burst fire needed unless we want something else. Your total rate of fire increases each time you fire consecutively. Minus 80% total thrust whilst firing. You take ramping hull self damage when you fire your weapon. Ah. Do we have enough regeneration? We still need a. Ah, uh, what do you call it? Not singular strike. We got no rerolls now. Calibrate to unlock whatever the hell that is.
Thank you. Stabilization and power reserves reduce the thrust penalty from... Oh! Plus the three things we took earlier, yeah? God, you got a good memory. I'll give you that. Versus knock back and pulls pull directions. Adrenal module is more damage. Uh, <laughs> presuming I take damage myself, yeah. may want to take this now. Concentrated Blast would be okay too. Masochism's less self-damage. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's alright. Adrenal module, there you go. Actually, that that helps a hell of a lot. Especially now, this is dope.
skirmish terminate. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Holy mackerel. Constant added thrust, that wouldn't be a bad thing, but I think Terminate's a good pickup. Uh, excuse me, lads. You are not being very nice right now. Although it's very pretty. Track. Who we got? Uh, where am I heading now? What's next? We wanted like dying star or anything like that. Maybe that's too much self damage. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go candescence here or last stand, but I'm dead, I'm dead. Corrosion. Is it possible to still get um, incendiary shots? Maybe not, no. Strike into convergence. I guess minus twenty percent velocity. It's a lot. It was candescence for now. Jeez. Ugh. Did I blow my... I just blew myself up. Wasn't paying attention. It's one thing you gotta... You gotta... 
Got to keep your eye on the on the prize. Not bad. Not bad. 467k. The giant space n node build. You're going to have to help me a lot with that. Oh, the snake crash build. Yeah. Should we turn off? Turn off a few of these. Asteroids comes black hole to me from food. That's fine. Lead enemy. That's fine. Fine. Yeah. That can be the same. What's the difference? Wow. All right. Leviathan Halo. You got it. Let's get him, boys. Let's get him. Uh, weapon doesn't really matter, does it? What's a good weapon for clearing? I, I usually go salvo, but maybe there's... Flak by itself, I would say not so much. Yeah, we'll just go salvo. Halo or or uh, orbs? Don't even know the name of the orb one. Good night, Nitro. Take it easy. Pulse is alright. You have to get... Yeah, you have to be fast. Maybe the orbs. Orbs with the snake might be better. Oh, the blue ones run away now? That ain't fair. Alright, so we are going hull. Shield and hull here, right? Both are important.
You know, I've never played Dwarf Fortress. Not once. Shield or no? A great game, even with the crazy UI. You're not doing much to sell me, hey? <laughs> like Piece of cake. Piece of dead cake. Almost. Imagine being inside this ship. You're just like, what the fuck is going on? Being thrown up against walls. We didn't go with Halo, but we will be getting fire damage soon enough. Creatures and not ships as we think of them. Um, okay. Fair. What happened? No idea just then. No idea. Uh, I, I mean, clearly I, I know what happened. We, we died. Don't you run away, you little fuckers. Let's go Halo this time.
So we'll get an early candescence this time. Easy. Easy. Oh, nearly dead. Lower shield cooldown. Take it easy, Zorandum. No sweat. Yeah, so the only vulnerable part of this ship is the, the front end. Uh, the rest of it is bulletproof. If you're clever, you can actually... Like guard, guard the head part with the body part, uh, except in certain situations. This is actually going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I fix that ship? Shit. There we go, that's a bit better. Oh! We big now. Well, getting there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why did you never do this? Um, yeah, no, Twitch defaults well i think it detects your internet connection and then goes from there give me a sec folks i'll be right back i need to run to the restroom also need to get um a small monch i need something to eat real quick and uh run an ad so give me a sec
Wrong stream. All right, check this. Leftover birthday cake from Ms. Queep. That's entree. Wait, no. You you don't say entree is a main in the states for some reason. Um, appetizer. Um, amuse bouche. Rice crispy, crispy treat. Main course. Royal Dansk Danish butter cookies. Rice quibbies. And um, of course, the protein of choice. Uh, core power. So, you know, we, we're sorted. We're, we're good. Sewing equipment. <laughs> I made that joke when Miss Queep showed me the tin. By the way, if you haven't had this, um, it's Fair Life, which I, I think is just a. a uh, if I don't know if you're into protein drinks or not, I I, I use them as meal replacements. The vanilla is fucking amazing. You love the fish tank? That is no fish tank. It's for snack. That's a, that's a snake butt. Um, let's try an engineer build. I haven't done one of them in ages. We just got to pick a main weapon. So let's get some votes on, on a primary weapon for our, uh, our little combat aces. I mean, yes, it is a fish tank. I'm sure a fish probably lived in there at one stage, but uh, it has since been repurposed. And yes, that is a nothing bunt cake. Miss Quee picked up a couple. She picked up funfetti or whatever the fuck it's called. Confetti cake. Just tastes like tastes like a vanilla cake. And then um she picked up a, a red velvet with uh, cream cheese frosting as well. Didn't I turn this off? Oh no, maybe that one I left on, that's fine. Let's go. Ah, oh, you got away. We could try a dart build, actually. Hell yeah. Dart builds are so damn good. We're gonna go Halo Shield as well. Get that fire damage. I just like the color Halo Shield makes everything. Orange is way better than pink, bro. I need homing 
Oh, show. Sure. Said engineer, right? I should have waited on that actually until we had a few more saved up because engineer ships are pretty weak. It's actually not a bad strategy. Done. Let's go. So, what I have to do here, the thing with engineer builds is that you need to be super careful of um, sp spreading yourself too thin I guess without focusing on defense and without focusing on offense and without focusing too much on uh, constructs it's you got to be really really careful so just take it easy go slow think about you got to think about it My controller lost a little responsiveness there for a sec. So already I'm, I'm starting to feel the pinch from... Hmm, defense. I will take that and now I'm going to focus on defense from here on out. Hello, Ro, Ro Hulk. Felt here? Hello? What's up, folks? Hope you're having a great night. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, shit. Those lasers, man, they cook you real bad. Ooh. Okay, damn it. Why you, why you gotta be like that? It's kind of an important upgrade. And then, okay, one one thing in homing, and then and then we're good. I promise, for like three minutes. Yeah, homing's gonna be important. Boy, oh boy. In fact, let's search for it. A avoid the temptation, Queeb. I can't. I can't do it. Queeb, we're going to get all this stuff. I know. Targeting. If I can survive just a little longer, we've got the beginnings of a decent build here. I love that Halo Shield entirely protects me from that salvo. So freaking weak, though. So weak. Oh, shit. You got the little pink... The pink fuzzies, too? Oh. I'll be over here if you need me. Right. Gotta work on defense. Soon. We'll work on defense real soon. I burnt all my rerolls looking for homing.
how does evolutionary niche work with the engineer ship? Do we need ten of those to get an extra an extra buddy, an extra dude? One bravado and four niches. Okay. You can work on that later though. Killing enemies progresses your assembly time for advanced constructs. Do we want different types of constructs? Another question. Do we want turrets? Turrets are really good. It's just more shit, though, isn't it? We'll, we'll work on defense real soon. Look, told you. See? Shit, maybe we won't work on defense just yet. Look at that. We're all defensed up now. Narrator. He was not, in fact, defensed up. Do want overseer? Shit, I don't know, man. We kind of do. We kind of do. Shielded contracts, on the other hand, that I don't know about. That seems a bit sketch. <laughs> I'm not doing very good on the defensive side of things, I gotta be honest. Just a couple of upgrades. <laughs> Just soon. Be fine. Soon, I will have a new product. It's called Defense for the Amazon Alexa. Um, now featuring fishing. By the way, uh, I saw that Matrix uh, Unreal Engine 4 business. Really fucking cool. I'm really excited for that movie, by the way. I think that is going to be dope. Get him.
And I'm especially glad that the movie's on, uh, on HBO. I've mentioned this before, but yeah, I don't want to go to the cinema right now. I do miss theater popcorn, though. Oh, look at this. Defensive stuff. Told ya. Mm. Queep never gets defensive. Yeah, see? We want drones. Yeah. You'll go for me and FaceTime from the theater? Perfect. Perfect. I, I can't wait. Yeah, engineer builds are, are tough to get going. Just because you have so many different things you need to focus on. Uh, we should definitely make our, our buddies more, more good or better. The fire damage and corrosion we want to work on. Imagine if this was a twin stick shooter much in the same vein as uh, Geometry Wars instead of its current sort of thrust based mechanic. I think it could work. I think it could work. Ew. Reactors. 30% assembly for non shield construct. Non shield construct. Non shielded? Construct rate of fire, movement rotation. Self destructing damage becomes burn damage and ignites target. Hmm. Gotta go evolution. There's a construct that is a shield. What? Not the... Um... Oh god, what's it called? The... Um... The frisbee. Bastion shields. That's a construct? I never understood that one. A lot of the descriptions could use um, dead. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of work. Damn, that's hard. I'll try again. Nothing but the best defense this time around. Trust. I won't even go into. Um, I'll get my primary weapon. Stick with dart. I'll get my halo shields. And then I won't select anything from here yet. We'll wait until I have five or six.
before I select the engineer ship. to do. Two upgrade stockpiles. Oh fuck already? We could switch ships later as well. I think that's wasteful though. An entire, an entire level down the toilet. Oh, that was only re-rolls we earned there? Yeah, no. No extra level. Hey, remember that time I play, uh, played Outer Wilds for the first time? And then followed up with, this is the greatest video game I've ever played. I wish I could go back in time, seriously. levels. That gets us out of racks here if we want it to. Might be a bad idea. So dead. No! Fight it! I'm so glad that that asteroid didn't come anywhere near me. That would have been <laughs> the end. <laughs> okay, we got to be careful now. Where's my engineer ship? Targeting volley. Don't press that. Defense, McQueed, defense. Oh yes, defense, good. What is that? Ultra rare wild mod, explosive growth. The next recursive wild mod you choose is gained an additional three times and then banished. Never seen that one before. You hear a knocking sound? Hello, Fives. Welcome back. How you doing, dude? I did not hear a knocking. Knocking at my chamber door. This is a scary, scary room. Training to become an IT specialist. I wish you well, my friend. I wish you well.
Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Troublemaker. Gonna take two cycles here. This is bad. Get it, get it, get it. Today, please. Thank you. Hey McQueeb, you seem to be selecting a lot of weapon upgrades there. Don't judge me. Is not cooking fast enough. Mm hmm. Yep. This is the, uh, what do they call it? Experimental branch. It's available to everybody. You just got to select it from preferences within Steam. Oh, God. Bunch of new enemies. Good thing I picked the engineer ship, hey. Drones? I still don't have my I still don't have my other dudes yet. We're gonna we're gonna do a no upgrades run. Or a no no reroll run. Did 
dashing backwards? Mm -mm, no, I haven't. Velocity rate of fire projectile size plus projectile spread. That wouldn't be horrible, actually. There you are. Oof. Ow. Ow. Help. This is nasty. I love how the, um, the little drone buddies stay just out of range. They're very smart. Alright, relax. Urgh. Elegant construction. Let's hold... Hold on that for a sec. shielding any good mm. discharge is a discharge shield is a really good build i can't remember something to do with crash build maybe yeah offensively we're not doing so well now but i do feel a little bit safer for sure I wish you could destroy his uh, orbitals. That'd be pretty dope. Now. shields to discharge yeah, maybe later time to roll time to roll
Yeah, elegant construction be a good idea. Wow, this is a particularly nasty ship. It's got two of those fucking things on the back of it. Yeah, let's hook up some drones as well. I don't know about rocket drones. They used to be pretty average. The regular drones seem to do a better job in my opinion. That might have been fixed now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Totally safe. Totally safe. Never, never in doubt. Rocket Jones used to be a net loss of DPS. For real. We don't get double the amount of drones anymore, do we? It's just plus one or something. It's been nerfed a little. But now if we give our shields constructs, or our construct shields rather, it's very pretty. What's going on? Do it. And then we can also do like clever stuff like putting the wingman information so that we still have something sticking out the front of our ship and we can shoot from our ship even if we get rid of the weapons which we may do advanced engineering Is that plus one drone each or total? We got an extra. Oh, well, that's real beautiful, by the way. Got an extra one of those. I don't know about the other. What's the um I gotta have, I'm gonna have to look it up. There's cheat codes we can I think it's like F7, F6, very simple. We can actually test out some builds. Debugging keys. Here we go. Debug mode. Is 
delete our F7 while plugging while playing. And then it's B. Level up. N for reroll. That's pretty much all you need. Same again? No, we had darts before. Let's go with Thermal Lance this time. Shield, Halo for sure. Engineer. Big Leviathan time. <laughs> No, volley doesn't work with uh, with that, so we can forget that. It's fine. I think magnitude works. Interceptor and Guardian. Your ally is transformed into a Guardian. Your Guardian gains the ability to recover the hull of other types of damage advanced constructs while nearby. Your Guardian prioritizes non-enemy targets. I mean, we, we might as well get all of this, huh? Rate of fire and blast radius. Oh, rate of fire. Okay. Weapon damage. Sure. Splinter probably does nothing. It's cool you can see damage numbers and stuff though. I really love that. God, that's good. Faster rotate would be good. Apologies for the flashing lights. Interceptor, there we go. Wingman, I'm not sure about yet. Mines as well? Fuck yeah. Reinforced drones. Apex machinery. Converse your drones into defense drones. Prioritizes non-enemy targets. Sure. I'm not, sh I'm not sure about that one. Rate of fire. Counter pulse. I think that's new. Maybe.
plus 60% drone damage, minus 40% drone rate of fire. Pass on that. Pass on that. Minus hull damage, minus mind damage, total mind effect, and mind trigger radius. Your minds cause a chain reaction when they detonate. Sure. Overseer. No longer fire your weapon. Flotilla. Overpower. We're gonna, we're gonna need a few more, I think. I thought I just died then. What the hell is that spinning thing? Holy mackerel. What was that? A mind thermal lance? That's awesome! While your shield protects you, it doesn't. Payload? Singular strike. Not sure. Hidden power. You cannot create... Ah, no. That would, that would just straight up Ruin, end the run. Blast damage? No, we, do we want blast damage or blast radius? Rotation speed, good. Actually. Burn damage, blast radius, right on. I love I love that they just give you cheat codes. Obviously, like, you know, achievements and, and scores are, are disabled, but unless you test cool shit, and we can change weapons and ships and everything. My god, that's glorious. Are we ready for a dying star yet? I'm not sure. Faster shield cooldown. Grab a hyper meta. Hyper meta. Got it. Now we take Dying Star. Oh no, don't take that. Mm -mm. What is that? 
destroy a burning enemy will consume any ignites and trigger deflagration. Creates a caustic nova that rolls over targets. The damage of deflagration scales with the combined burning damage the enemy is taking. The duration of deflagration scales with the combined duration of any ignites removed. Sounds dope as hell. Mortar. Eh, I'm good without it. Although homing mortar might be decent, huh? I'm, I'm taking it. Burnout reactors. This is so ridiculous, I love it. Transmog. Plus 15% blast radius. Reverses knockback and pull direction for you, you and your constructs. Never understood that one. Never understood that. Reverses knockback. So if you hit something, it comes towards you? Explosions are implosions. Ah. Okay. Okay. I get it. <clears throat> that's, that's me firing, by the way. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I guess I had... Um... Yeah, self damage. Score cheater. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. No achievements, but we're we're maxed out on those at the moment anyway. And it, and you want a big snake? Snake build. What happened? I was firing. I shouldn't have been firing. Um, weapon doesn't matter, huh? I think we'll be getting rid of that. Weapon doesn't matter. We can skip. Decline. Snick. Oh, that's right. Every time you take Ataraxia, it still skips you out. I don't understand that. Your hull cannot regenerate. That we don't want, I don't think. Deploy mines in your firing direction if you have no mines constructed. Oh. 
Well, there you go. I, I was unaware. <laughs> A lot of these I don't quite understand. The Gemini Protocol Conversion uh, Omni Shield, I, I get. Uh, actually, we do we want that? Shield build or a hull build with the snake? I can't remember. Whatever. Doesn't matter. That's the point. Only good for Tempest Break or Omni Shield builds. That's the one. Tempest Break's the one that, um, it's like a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Um, like a massive explosion, right? Oh, I should have taken the other there. That's okay. Minus 40% maximum? Yeah, I don't even know. Small shield that deals massive damage when it pops. And, and the whole purpose behind that is to uh, have it regenerate and then pop and so forth and so on. Hello, Iki. How you doing? I'm I'm cheating right now. Minus shield radius. I don't know if that's a net positive overall, but we'll take all the shield upgrades. Why the hell not? Flash shielding? That seems pretty bad. Places both strafe and brink blink. What's the one where you crash into something and you automatically teleport? Phantom strike, which we got, right? I think we did. I can think of at least 10 more things I want. Actually, no, we're getting pretty low here. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're about to get a little bit carried away here. Can I still get drones? No. I don't... don't think so. I'll take them all. Whatever. Let's get, get them out of here. All tier 1 mods currently on offer to you. Uh, actually, I want that. There's Tempest Break. Uh, we can't take that now, I don't think.
Oh, Icky. Oh, that's horrible. We were actually talking about something similar earlier. Absolute condolences. Hopefully I can take your mind off a few things for a little bit. You no longer collide with apotheosis? Yeah, I think that's good. We'll see. This snake isn't even that big. Oh, my hull is... My hull is gone. Okay, that's fine. Makes crash useless, but very good for the firefly body. You just sit on top of them and burn them with thrusters. Oh, interesting. Okay. But my shield should be doing all of the work. I think I still need to take damage for that shield to be effective. It's only a tiny snake. We, we can be much bigger than this. What do I need for that? Levels? Grandeur. Okay. Sanctuary. Minus thrust. That would be alright, actually. Your shield only begins cooldown when it breaks. Ah, maybe not. Gotta be, you gotta be stupid careful with some of these, man. Yeah, you make you you make a wrong click here and there and you just Firefly discharge dead weight deadly wake scorching wake lots of thrust. Sounds like a cool build. We ever gonna get grandeur, that's the question. Maybe, maybe not. I also need um, orbs of discord. I don't think I have that yet. We're slowly getting bigger. Slow. There it is. Look at that. Slowly getting bigger. Solar heart. Yeah, that doesn't sound good either. It's still very easy to die. Like, like that's what I was saying. What is that? Farsight. Plus 7% battlefield size. Plus 2% damage taken from enemies. Oh, I gotta do that. It's zoomed out. That could be good and bad. I've never seen that one before. That's cool.
It it doesn't exist. Minus hull and shield per wild mod. Oh. <laughs> Good. I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll last forever now. Oh yeah, we're we're going down. You just gotta do spinny spinnies now. The problem with a lot of those that we have, um, I don't think they scale with damage. Like the... What's the thing that's... Oh, the thing that's coming out of my the thruster stuff? I don't think that increases with, with global damage, does it? It does. Oh, right on. Okay. Bit dramatic in it. All right. <laughs> Let's turn this off again. All right. Next build, who's who's got one? This is for real this time, this isn't me messing about with cheats. Torrent build? Close range, widespread, rapid fire, lattice of energy. weapon and get a strong default shot is that even possible <laughs> I'm, I'm so shit with it um sentinel halo okay we'll try sentinel first then we'll do the firefly build after and then i'll do the default shot after that i think for now let's um let's go thermal lens why not Still get away. All right, what upgrades am I looking for here specifically? Alright, maybe we'll choose a different weapon. <laughs> That's a rough start, man, and you know it. Wow. That's pretty rough.
straight up nearly taken out by a uh, asteroid. EV Nova? What's EV Nova? Underappreciated, yeah, you can link it, that's fine. Underappreciated from the 90s. When you say underappreciated, did it just not receive mainstream coverage, or was it an indie game? Like, was it a marketing problem or a game problem? Uh. Well, we want shields then. Some of these new enemies are quite, quite devilish. Um, until I hear otherwise, I'm just going to keep going with, uh, with shields, I think. Radius or effect power? Both. So overall, we get plus 25 shield effect power, plus 5 maximum shields. And here, we lose 10. So we're negative 5 maximum shields. We are... Lower cooldown, but effect radius is increased. Ah, oh, damn. Helps if uh, shields stay intact. Ooh. I've always liked this this hull, by the way. I think it's uh, it's a good ship. Abilities. Shall I pick up a hyper metabolism now? I mean, I'm sure we'll see it again, but. Two little balls, now three little balls. That is the orbs of discord. So 
I just want to be tanky as shit, right? I want to get in there. Is this an is this an omni shield? Not an omni shield build. Is this a um, Gemini protocol build? Going discharge. No, I don't think so, right? Hidden power discharge. Okay. I didn't think discharge worked if you disabled your weapon. Look at that shield, it looks like a soccer ball. <laughs> yep, that works. Oh, no, no, no. You're right. You're right. I know what you're talking about. You take shield self damage when you fire. Got it. Um. Got it. So the shield is irrelevant. What type of shield we're using, right? Why am I taking constant damage now? I need to fix it. It's a it's a pretty complex game. I know once you learn the intricacies of each uh, each segment, it's a little better. Do we need hull as well? Self damage resistance. Sanctuary could help. Oh, that's better. We stabilize at least when I'm not firing.
That's cool. Is this a popular game? Like, I know, I know, you know, roguelike streamers love it, but is it, uh, is it uh, part of the bigger communication sphere? Just a random change to Isaac, or has this game been updated and you wanted to see what's what? Dutch, glad you asked. Nope, you have reached day 11 of the Queebvent calendar event. Different game every day, chosen by my wife. Uh, today's game was Nova Drift. Go ahead and hit the old command right there. Check out that spreadsheet. We play Isaac every day too. Burn damage, ignite damage, hull and shields are covered per second by for each ignited enemy. Hell yeah, we want that. I think. Sounds good. Oh shit. That's real bad. Oh good baby. No problem. Please don't hurt me. Oh, you shielded him. I get it now. I don't like it, but I get it. I'm going to speed this up. And then if I get... If I get Gemini Protocol and Regeneration of the Hull, that works better, right? I mean, it's not a negative. Ow! He, he did it again! I, I did die. Stealth body with rockets? Mm, I'm not a fan of that. Let's try that again. Third time's a charm. Uh, the reason I don't like stealth builds is it's just, it's just... You ain't hiding for very long in this game. Mm. Alright, let's decline, I guess. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, come on, bruh. Wow, you're gonna make me use a, a roll on every single one, huh? We just want regeneration and shields and everything. All, all defense.
Yeah, I have always liked this shit body. It's very fast. Or at least, you know, base. Base is quite decent speed wise. No kill, please. No kill. Weaponized shields. Adds a weaponized shield effect to any shield. Targets within the weaponized effect radius take plus 20% total damage modified by the shield effect power. Sure. And... Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no no no. Mm -mm. <gasps> I feel very fragile. Do we get anything for, like, extra for killing enemies? Sorry, elite or champion enemies, I mean. Do we get extra experience? If your maximum hull is greater than your maximum shields, convert 30% of your maximum shields to your maximum hull. Otherwise, convert 30% of your maximum hull to your maximum shield. You ain't hiding very very long in this game even if you're able to survive more waves early late game it doesn't make a difference so i don't think stealth is a very viable build at all i could be wrong but it doesn't feel like it A stranger's word on the in internet? What? You must be mad. <laughs> when has chat ever led me astray? Hey, Hobo, when's the last time you saw Frag play this? It has been a while, huh? Maybe he'll be doing that during Fragmas.
Oh, he already has. Okay. Okay, cool. I just missed it. That's all. Damage is divided evenly between your hull and your shields. I try to tune in every day, but I've been sleeping very late lately. Oh, no way. Ugh. A particularly nasty setup. Speed racer. So just being in here is hurting me now, huh? Is that new? Quickly, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, shit. Am I dead? Very, very close. Halo shield from hurting enemies. You said that before, or somebody said that before. I, that's what I thought I read, but uh, that's weird. I didn't know it could hurt you. Nothing special, just a heavily defensive build at the moment. Nothing real synergistic. Oh, you're a jerk. So if I kill you, does your shield disappear? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. That disappears straight away. When you take a hull hit equal to or exceeding 15% of your maximum hull, you automatically fire an empowered, an empowered attack. Omni shield. They're fast. They're very fast. Ugh. And was, was Frag playing the new build? I wasn't even aware there was a new build available. It's cool. I like it. It's pretty, pretty polished. I would expect uh, nothing less from Chimeric, though. The stable branch. Oh, does it still... A uh, couple of crashes here and there. Jerks, man. 
Oh no. Oof. I didn't take bravado yet, did I? Omni shield. Minus 85% total maximum hull. Is that a wise move to take with Gemini Protocol? Probably not, right? Since we'll be most likely destroying our shield. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Jeez, this is heavy, dude. And they just keep coming, huh? Oh shit, I'm in deep trouble here. If I can just get rid of that stupid cannon guy. Holy mackerel. Yeah, you guys hang out all together. That's fantastic. Ugh. Mm. Tell you what, can you not do that? And let's just pretend you did. <sighs> Shields back. Oh my god. This is horrible. Yeah, this is what we call an unfortunate room. <laughs> I can't I can't kill anything. They're gaining health. They're healing each other? The, the two spheres of purple... The, the two aura, purple auras? And the boss. You know what? Cool. I... I no. You can't... Can't do anything there. Not with my build, at least. Uh, let's have something else. Surely that's not working for us. Black build? We did that earlier, Fives. We had a very wide, very powerful flak build. It's quite good. I think I ended up killing myself. Big surprise. Default gun build. Okay. Okay. Uh, ship and shield, please. Assault Temporal or Shockwave or Amp. Probably Amp. Wow. Fast Cannon, huh?
Yeah, you better run away. Already wave 15? Oh my god. <clears throat> a really sharp rock that one let me turn uh, a few more of these off that one especially that's fine okay okay good let's try this Take Revelation. You'll have to... What's the icon look like? I don't... I don't really know the names all that well. Oh, right, right, right. Got it. And save for after you have barrage. Okay. interesting my level is only two because i skipped the default like the first weapon choice i thought the level once you level up you level up but no apparently not uh yeah i'm gonna need that that should help a little please tell me that works It does not seem... Fuck off! Doesn't seem to be working. Well, I mean, we picked the weakest ship. Well, I mean, you know, respectively speaking. Defensive-wise, it's very weak. Um, we have to start a weapon. <laughs> And, and the amp shield, which, while it does more damage, it's also pretty weak. <laughs> Gives me no other options as well. What's the aircraft hangar or aircraft carrier thing ship like? The little the little tiny drones. Are they good?
so fucking weak. <laughs> and here we are again. You need you need a lot of damage. It's, it looked like homing didn't do shit, right? It seemed that way. Maybe, maybe we'll get an extra projectile or two if we can. See what's up. Unless it literally doesn't change. Yeah, this game, but it's as a twin stick stick shooter, I think would be quite good. Not saying it's not good, but you know, different con different control scheme. Ay ay ay. Does the amp shield only hurt stuff whilst extra whilst it's inside the shield? Because if that's the case, it doesn't seem very good. Oh, leave me alone. Please, please leave me alone. Twenty percent extra anytime more if they're inside. Got it. Okay. Hey. I ain't gonna be stopped firing, that's for sure. I would probably argue that Halo Shield is significantly better in this scenario just because stuff that gets stuff that gets through, stuff that we don't kill immediately. Have a bit of a better better chance. Again, I could try homing, homing, maybe. How come you're using the starter weapon still? That's the that's the meme, dude. That was the requested build. I I think it's somewhat ah oh, fuck off. I think it's somewhat working. I wish I could have the colors on all the time. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> um, lower velocity, 
slower shooting. Nah, let's get a little bit of safety here. Oh, fuck. I don't feel very safe. I don't, I don't know just how much that's homing at all. Oh, it is, it is a little. I can see it now. I can see it. All right. Uh, well then maybe, yeah, maybe we need to slow them down a little with more homing. Ugh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow. I'll try again. Carrier run. Let me, let me try once more with this. <laughs> it's a really shitty weapon. <laughs> it needs a lot of work, uh, which means <laughs> we don't get a lot of defense. I'm going to choose Halo Shield this time, though. Amp Shield can go away. Even Assault can probably go away. Where are you? What if we do carrier with this? It'll be much less effective, but we combine the two. Halo Firefly. That's the needle looking one, right? Like the little very pointy. No, that's Viper. Fuck is Firefly. Okay. This is a decent crash ship? Sure is. Too. Nice. Kind of needed that. Oh, 
Uh, what am I saving that for, by the way? The triple. Lower velocity, lower rate of fire. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. Just need a bit of bit of range, you know. Oh my god. No, so that that just won't do. Makes me a lot slower. Six levels though. <laughs> Torment, of course, dude. What am I here for? Body type's one of the fastest base. True. And we're going to be so much bigger. All right. Don't know about convergence. We'll see. First fire to unlock. Got it. Yeah, barrage is gonna kind of gonna be necessary, I think. You guys are the worst. It's pretty good. Is there a problem with leveling up fast like that? Like, do you miss out on levels because the amount of XP required increases? Or is it, is it based on... The stage you're on kind of thing. Does that make sense? Okay. Like if the amount if the amount of XP required increases, then that's silly. But if it's just bonus levels, then ignore what I just said, I guess. Mm. Really should go defensive. A little bit. But small. Tiny bit. Bonus upgrade points instead of levels. Okay, that, that makes sense, yeah.
Yeah, we're not even that much slower, to be honest. a blur of white when it hits so that's very weird all right See, now I'm liking longer range. I'll play it smart. We might be over the hurdle for now. a lot less impressive than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, we need we need a, a range up now then. That's the thing, can you hold out without targeting until now? It's doing, it's doing, it's doing good work, but <laughs> it's not very strong. That's all. Gotta, gotta apply a little bit of pressure. Minus rate of fire. Oh, I love summoner builds in games. Absolutely. I want to, that's why I always want to get engineers off the ground, but it's so difficult to do. But like necromancers in games? Oh, I mean like a little army of skellies or something. Cool shit, man. in Path of Exile. Never played PoE.
I um I was hoping the sound effect would be a lot more dramatic when it was firing as well. You know, you've turned this shitty weapon into something with a bit of clout and um it's just Even if it was ramped up a little bit, right? Well, I guess everyone keeps saying that they're living organisms, these ships. Not, like, machines, so I don't know. We could pick up any weapon now, though. Like, if we picked up flak now, I think we'd be... We'd be pretty dope. Stop homing in on the wrong thing. Split shot. Don't we have that? Splinter? Maybe we don't yet. Wait. Yeah, we do. You mean the weapon? Oh, right. I mean, like I said, we could switch it out easy. Not gonna lose anything. Ah! Never mind. <laughs> I forgot he does that. <laughs> All right, carrier builds. That was good. I like it. I really wanted to switch the weapon out though. It was perfect base for any weapon. Oh, the darts would have been really good. Yep. I like them in general. Is it poison or fire? I thought it was just fire. So I think fire damage makes them better. What's, uh, what's Salvo like with Barrage? That would probably be a bad, a bad thing, I'd, I'd say. I don't know, mines are fun. Or grenades, rather. You automatically assemble and deploy swarm constructs which ap apply vulnerability to targets. While a damage shield protects you, a portion of your swarm constructs are assigned to recover your shields. While your shield is down or you have no shield, swarm constructs gain increased movement speed and rate of fire. Okay.
are the um are the construct upgrades worth it with this like this for example They gain no up, up, upgrades. Oh, okay. They're just regular, regular ones. Got it. Do we have any passive upgrades to advanced constructs like drones and stuff? Main benefit is the shield repair. Okay. Well, there's your shield. I'll tell you what we could do though. Not mines, but... But, turret. Turrets are cool. Mm. You take Ranger. You always take Ranger. Said it applies like a, a curse or something, right? Like a debuff. It's just it's just nu nuking them down. I love it. It's great. Homing tree great for salvo because they are slower. Makes sense. I might actually save for Ataraxia now that we're killing stuff on the other side of the screen. Oh, they're great. Look at them go. I still like to prefer to think of them as, uh, I still like to think of them as um, manned ships though. That hurts. Yeah, multiple sucks. I've been taken out by asteroids before. Have they been nerfed slightly in the in this build? Another question, do we know if there's more coming to this or will this be the next main branch push? Look at him go, awesome.
It's a pretty cool ship. I like it. I feel super safe. me in. Perks about basic constructs. I'm gonna have to get that later anyway, but Gotta get out, gotta get out. So there's additional projectiles there. They weren't there in the, the old version. But he's a much bigger boy now. Awesome, I love it. The turrets, once they get going as well. Fucking incredible. Auto deploy makes it so much better also. Excellent quality of life changer. inversion with salvo good or weird what's your what's your favorite one of these danish cookies i think i just like the plain ones these little macaroon style ones, they're pretty good too.
We gotta get upgrades for the um for the turret ASAP. Keep finding cool shit that I want though. Does he get the same? Wait a minute. Long cooldown on uh, recovery, huh? What's the name of this boss? It, it, well, it's not a boss here, but... The red guy. You don't see him till like 160 or something. Same one? Hmm. Why do I remember him being a lot more difficult? Constructs as well, the drones. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, maybe it's this game thinking of. No, it was a red one. Look at him in there. Oh, oh, yes. They were like, ah, oh, we got this boss. Warbringer and Seraph. Seraph's the blue one. Wasn't paying attention. Maybe an engineer turret build. Yeah. Or drones. Let's go drones first. Gives ourselves a little bit of defense, a little bit of offense. 
They look cute as hell. We need a weapon though. Something different. Yeah, that would have been pretty baller with that last build we had. One switch would have, would have been all it took. Damn. My... My bullets don't do fire damage now, do they? That's not how that works. It's just orange because... We're going to wait a while since Engineer is a little weaker. Blast damage, but if you have corrosion, they'll deal burn damage as well. Okay. Well, it just so happens that I will hopefully make it to that stage. I remember when seeing Geometry Wars on Xbox Live Arcade for the first time. I was I was blown away. I was like, the games just will not get any better than this. This is This is this is as good as it's gonna get. There was another game as well. Not as well known because I don't think Microsoft published this one or whatever, but It was around the same time. Let's just keep you alive, huh? Geometry Wars? Yeah, that's the... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. There was something... Another one. Uh, I can't remember it. Too many games. Ain't yep. Well, I mean, depends on your definition of going hard with a video game. Just, just hanging out, chilling. Nothing much going on here. Beat Hazard? That was one of them. Not the one I was thinking of, though. I think it had the word ultra in its name, I don't know. You went to sleep twice and you I see you still play it. Is that is that alright? <laughs> we good? You said corrosion, right? Oh, but we got turrets here. Damn it. Gotta do it. That's a lot of snacks.
Does that give me two drones now? calendar of the games I play every day yeah almost like an advent calendar there is one it was there since day one day two actually Is it on Discord? N n no. Type the command that's in the title. These ones I really dislike. I'm nearly dead. Heroes of Hammerwatch. Doesn't ring a bell. come out 2018 it, it certainly looks familiar like really familiar it says I don't have it not die. Oh, I wish the turrets were smart enough to shoot the, the shield producing enemy rather than the enemy that is shielded. Drones. Mm. 
Lots of cool shit now. That's, again, problem. Could probably go for corrosion, actually. <laughs> Maybe some defense, Queeb? Yes, defense. Good, good call. You know what they say about the best offense? It's more guns. Very drum and bass, yeah. Yeah. Somebody mentioned the artist before, but the soundtrack's cool. They've added a few new tracks by the sounds of it. formation unlocks fleet which is extras right drone specialist plus two drone construct limit roll it evolution yeah how about we go defensive though McQueen? what do you think about that it's a good idea a really good idea. Turret bullet with enemy projectiles degenerating their damage plus 10% maximum hull rate of fire rotation speed damage hmm. that looks good too I'll take that What's that reloading sound? Oh, it's me dropping a new drone out. Okay, got it. Oh, it's the turret reloading. I'll allow it. Tactical link. Hmm. bit of bit more damage I think And there's some kind of speedrun mode now as well, right? I don't think I'd try that. Oh, 
Bummer. As a timer for certain splits. I like when you hit a boss or whatever. Uh, one, uh, one more run in a minute. I'm probably going to have an early night tonight. Um, what's the next one? I'll try one of these macaroon looking things. What about Torrent Corsair? A bit weird, I think. Well, maybe not the Corsair, but the other one. The one that splits uh, in a bifurcated fashion. Same one. <clears throat> oh, can you not? so much. Some of the runs just don't feel very balanced. This one. Battery. Plus 15% weapon damage, 20% projectile size, plus 3 projectiles. I don't know what the fuck that means with torrent. Don't worth Low range. Because the projectile speed. I mean, we're, we're, the range isn't going to change with this ship, right? Well, maybe we go back to... Uh, where was it? This guy. Yeah. So we need range, huh? Rate of fire, size, fire damage, I assume, or explosion. Do 
Twin Strike, plus one projectile, minus projectile spread, recovery rate, slower shield cooldown. Corrosion's very good again. Okay. Well, let's go defense then. That. And that. Good start. Velocity important to so like snipe. It's so interesting that velocity has a direct impact on range, whereas in Isaac it doesn't. It's a separate uh, statistic. Not every game can be Isaac, Alex. Yes, I know. What would be really nice is if we could torch enemy projectiles with this. Minus rate of fire. Mm -hmm. Power reserves, huh? This purge, it keeps giving me purge. Targeting's probably absolutely useless. Splinter, yay or nay, it does reduce rate of fire. ones won't travel very far that's okay if we get more hits up close that's fine i mean we, we're not traveling it, it, we got to get close anyway right apparently real close the ultimate in difficult builds let's get the let's get the the boomerang
Best ship still a research ship for that? Vortex Leviathan. Mm, never never did like the Vortex. Const construct and weapon mods. Ah, it shoots out now. Oh, it always has. Fucking strong, though. And this is the only one that travels across the screen by default, right? Yeah. Vortex uh, does self damage while charging if you charge too long. Alright, so we want homing and multi shot ASAP. Same again? Or do we want to go engineer again? Timing doesn't work. Hasn't been fixed, huh? I could have sworn it did. I could have sworn. Oh, that's right. It's a five, five prong now, not a, not a four prong. Oh, it eats, it eats projectiles as well. Is this what I was talking about before? Maybe. Since homing doesn't work, we just want multi-shot then. And magnitude, of course. Five. The five um, tipped star looks so much better than the four. When it's in motion especially, it looks cool. Oh, that's why we go engineer. My bad. Yep, you're right. That's fine. Just means we have to hit bigger, bigger, harder, faster. So what construct mods do we want to get then?
Right, so that won't work. That'll just be a stat down. It should it should probably give warnings, I would say. Like by the way, did you did you know what your ship does? Did you read the instructions? Yeah, I'm trying to think what construct mods would be beneficial here. Shielded? With the right shield. Orbital, that's what I'm, that, uh, that must be what I'm thinking of, yeah. This thing that we've got, I don't even know why I picked it, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. And you can increase the the bullets that it throws out as well, right? Give it your shield, take polar inversion, so that the shockwave pulls enemies in. That's amazing. That's really deep. Elegant construction, 25% construct maximum hull, assembly speed, construct assembly speed per your level. Um, splinter, I think, is good. Self-destruction, when your constructs are destroyed, they release a damaging shockwave. Maybe. Maybe. the shockwave oh no we didn't hit that These guys are like, I'm gonna head to the battlefield. I'm gonna shoot my shot quite literally. And then, um, that's it. That's all you get. You get one shot. There's that ultra rare one again. Is it increasing in size? Oh, this is quite bad.
Stop picking on me. All right, this time we'll do it differently. Last one. So was that still the better ship? This time we'll go Halo or the orbs. Orbs would be great, actually. I'm going to give it our shield. I could have sworn it was homing. I could have. Shit. Oh, it came back. This is a difficult game, that much I'll say. Like even with, with all of the modifiers turned off, it's still, it's, it's not an easy one. <laughs> The research ship too. It's pretty dope. All right. Actually, speaking of, it does seem this this build does seem more difficult than former builds that I played. Is there a wild mod that gives us weapons? Is it and is it om Omni Shield that I want? Or o overseer? I can't remember. I, I always forget the names. I don't even know if this works. Sh shielded construct. That leaves me completely vulnerable. Can I have drones and that? Oh, is one we cannot shoot. Only one at a time. Jesus. Make it count.
just because it's difficult doesn't mean it's poo poo. Size. Big, much big. Actually, doing decent damage with its little, little projectile spinnies too. I am Makered, yeah, it's surprisingly complex, actually. It's a big mistake. <laughs> Let's do it. Burn in righteous fire. You could, you could at least give me the shield while I'm holding it. No? Okay. Would that be too fair? Regen would probably be a good idea. Uh, a couple of shield effects as well. Make make us a little more effective. Mm. Does purification heal me? <laughs> It does. Alright. Well, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Don't make me F7 this, because I will. This is for fun. Ow, ow, ow. It's interesting, why do I still have a shield? Oh god. Help. Shoot. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna F7 that build. Let's see if we can do it. Try orbs. Where are you? There you are. Same guy. Let's go. Lots of hull. We're doing lots and lots of hull today. Today is hull day. You never skip a hull day.
Burnout reactors. 30% assembly, assembly speed for non-shield constructs. Rate of fire, movement, rotation, orbit speed. Construct rate of fire increases as their hull decreases. Sounds good, right? Sounds hella good. Singular strike. Plus 15% damage, size, and blast radius. Each projectile, which we only have one. I mean, why not? Sounds good. get here you've got to be it's it's one of those games where you've got to be really really careful of which uh which items you choose what about what about the the one on the right here with the two extra that's still a no-go with this ship right <laughs> just checking just checking Charging improves total weapon damage, velocity, projectile size, and blast radius. Polar inversion. Does that pull them into the them or me? Because that would be real bad if it... Big charge shot. be towards the source, okay? Are we dying star up in here? Oh my god. Anti-matter rounds. Heavy hull self-damage when you fire. Uh, maybe not. Rancor. Plus one plating, minus 10% thrust. Sure. Oh, I need more. This should create a freaking devastating attack. Discharge might be good. Rate of fire plus burst fire. Double tap. Burst fire will be irrelevant for us, I think. Take it, test it.
your maximum hull is greater than your maximum shields convert 30 percent of your maximum shields to your hull otherwise convert your hull to your shields no that doesn't sound good one hyper metabolism incendiary strike essence sap No, I don't think so. Do we want a dying star? I probably need to get a second hyper. Too late now. We are taking small damage here. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at that. All right, we need another. Um, we need another hyper <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> uh, yeah, yep. Quickly, please. Thank you. We good? We're good. Okay. <laughs> Maybe even a third, just to be on the safe side. Solar Heart as well. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. I will take Discharge, though. Death Blossom? Oh, I haven't seen that in ages. Tempest Break. Good or bad? Passive shield regen. Do we? Sure. Still don't want conversion. I think that's a mistake. Power reserves. Yes. Did I just fuck up? Propulsive munitions? I think I did. I mean, it shouldn't matter. <sighs> sure did. Woo! Oh my goodness. That's awesome. <laughs> Last one. All right. Evolutionary niche. There's polar inversion. See if it works or not. Could be the worst thing ever. Uh, 
I think that's it. Yeah, we're good. So freaking cool. I've just got to face the opposite way now. That's the only problem. I can always switch my ship as well. Switch to engineer. <clears throat> we'll lose significant amount of damage, but sure. Gotta be in here somewhere. One of these days, we're gonna we're gonna find it. And if we switch to the engineer, we can probably get ally and other shit as well. Then. Oh please. Or we'll never see it ever again. Unreal. Okay, so now we definitely want... Um, yeah, all of the above. Oh, we can get multi shots now. You're right. You're right. This is going to get mad, I think. done yet. I don't even know what's going to happen. I have no idea.
No idea. This is going to get real messy. Probably change weapons to item, I think. What are they shooting? They're not... Oh, they do have little spinnies. Look. Oh, yeah. I need another... Uh... I need another uh, hyper metabolism for sure. Different weapon though. We need we need a different weapon. Um, something utterly wild. Yes. We want barrage as well. Whatever, sure. Uh -uh. No. Yeah, some of these are definitely designed not to not to go together. I don't even know where I am. If I'm being honest, I have no idea. The Gatling weapon would be insane. The the flak? Is that what one you're talking about? Or the railgun. Railgun would be real good as well. Where am I? Okay, I'm down here. Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. Goodness. It's like one of those fancy um, anti rocket things you see on on the on the <laughs> on the big navy ships. Did I make the game an idle game? Well, I mean, I'm. This isn't a legit run, clearly. <laughs> what other weapon? Let's give him flak. Let's give him some flak. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. What about that? Oh, it's so pretty. That nearly killed me. Yep. What happens if I get hidden power now? Does that mean my dudes will stop shooting? Probably. Salvo. Yeah, let's try that. Pulse, actually. Oh, split shot first. That is just awesome.
the noise see that's a better noise that's what everything should sound like they're flying around a lot more now You know it would look really good as well? Different shields. Let's bring on the fire. Well, there's Salvo. I can't I can't even tell what's what's happening. It does bring a smile to my face. This is actually one of the reasons why I love cheating in games so much. When it's when it's just me, right? When no one else is affected. I don't know, you can, you can get a feel for the game, you can test stuff out. Switch the body to the carrier? Uh, we'd lose a bunch of stuff. Give them Vortex. I, I am not long for this world, I think. Give me, like, more defense would be really good. Uh, that only comes in the form of wild mods, I believe. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty rare one. Oh, this looks weird. It's it's gone uh, undercover now. I think I need, how many of those do I have? One, two, three, four. I need one more of those and we should be able to get an extra dude, an extra wingman. I'm hearing all sorts of weird noises I've never heard before. should have an extra an extra guy one two three still just give it a minute things weren't meant to be. The lack of shields is terrifying. I'm 
No, we've still only got three wingmen. Leaf on the wind. The longer you avoid enemy and hazard damage, the more leaf on the wind benefits. Double check. One, two, three, four. No, only four. So we still need another one. Solar heart, probably not a good idea. Where are you? It's very, it's very rare, I think. That's another one that's new, I think. Explosive growth. The next wild mod you, re you choose is gained an additional three times and then banished. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of levels. That's that's unacceptable. Now we're looking for the the like DNA double helix kind of thing. One more of those, and there we go. Do I get a Do I get a fourth guy? Doesn't look like it, huh? I know they could be quite slow, though. Four or six? Alright, one more then. I don't want to accidentally... There it is. We definitely have bravado. That's pretty sure. Good information to have. Oh, I should have taken that. They might have changed it. Yeah, maybe the um, maybe with the engineer, you don't get that anymore. This is this game out or is it still early access? I haven't even seen a mine. God knows. Oh, because I oh we picked up the mortar thing. Shit, that was one. There you go. That's what happens.
grandeur you can only pick up once right I'm going cross side here. No. I just wanted to be bigger. Still not moving. Gotta be like seven now, huh? Uh, which one's chaotic ambition? Butterfly. Looks like a honeycomb. Oh, the triple one. The triple get. Understood. Can that show up more than once? Huh. Ah, let's let it play out. Oh. Oh, I've got my formation. Uh, how do I get, put him back into attack formation? Fellas? And I'm, I, I'm shooting backwards still, which I think is hilarious. Oh, wow. Time to, time to get a little bit of speed here. Just cruising. No big. Just, just going real slow. That does look amazing with the, the thrust <laughs> of the, the beams. I like it. I think this build is, is long for this life. It's a clever game. It's clever. I like the way they put it together. Deceptively deep.
Oh yeah, we're nearly dead. <laughs> All it takes is the wrong encounter. God, why would you go anywhere near that in the battlefield? Just be like, you know what? Have a nice day. What else? Something else needs changing. Pulse weapon? Yeah. The the shockwave specter. What else you got? Yeah. I think the most damage I've done is like, I don't know, 40,000, 50,000 maybe. I think Splinter is activating by itself? How's my score so low? Uh, no modifications turned on. And I'm cheating. So. I don't know if that has any impact on it. Oh, it's still going up. Remember when they used to sell screensaver packs in the 90s? This would be the best one ever. And keep your flying toasters. Salvo. Oh, that'd be so good if we didn't have, uh... Try the carrier? Guys get shields too. No, I must have done a lot more than 50k damage because I've had crash builds where the the numbers were like this big on the screen. Johnny Castaway for Windows 3.11. How have I never heard of that? I remember the, I think it might have been built in, but it was like just walking through this garden path with 
red, ugly fucking red brick walls. And it would like turn and, and the whole, like it's 3, 3D kind of. It was rough, but it, it was still cool to watch. And uh, Mystify and BZA. Yeah, I must have I must have done hundreds of thousands of in, in damage because um, this is tame compared to some of the crash builds I've seen. I don't I don't even know what's who's what. Do we know what stage it's on? It just says level 100. That's my level. Seems to be the max. Oh, 276. There we go. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll help it along a little bit. Crashed it. <laughs> good, good, perfect end. I like it. Folks, thank you so much for joining today. Um, had a blast. Today was really fun. And I'm, I'm glad Ms. Queeb chose Nova Drift.